for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. This is the main event. Dildo Corn is alive and kicking. Come on over here, I'll headbutt your ass a couple times if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> This brother breaking off a 40 yard run. This brother, come on, zip it. I hope I didn't piss off Jesus. You call that a penalty? <laughs> Who's yeah, number one, though? Who's number one? It's the LA Clippers. Boom! Oh, shut up! <laughs> You're saying it wrong, people. I would get him pregnant. Uh, fuck you. Uh, triple. That just called in and hangs up, you motherfucker. That fing pisses me off. Are you in the shower now? I'm totally in the shower. Yeah! <laughs> He's not a coach head. You mean James? Stupid idiot. You're a stupid <laughs> idiot. For getting so fucked up tight over fucking nothing. You're clearly lying. You're clearly just Why lying. Why would I lie? Why would I lie? Don't need attention. Yes, you do. I don't. You're a comic. It's time for the main event. Oh, my God. What up? Look who's back. Back in the saddle, back with the quickness. Teams, trips, Ari is gonna try to Skype in. He's in an airport after doing mushrooms for I think three or four straight days. Yeah, and then he hit up Red Band yesterday. He's like, hey, you wanna go shroom in the forest? It's like, how many days you gotta shroom? Is it an entire week? I thought it was like a three day event, like Lilla Fair. I have no idea. I just know every picture they put. Did you see any of those pictures they were posting? A couple of them, he looked like he was in deep shit. Yeah, like, where? what am I doing with my life? You know, this face How can is, I solve world problems? It really reminded me of, remember when we did that one podcast a long time ago? I think it was a naughty show where yeah. he did... Sylvia, uh, Sylvia. Oh, yeah. That was so fucking funny, man. You know what is uh, so interesting is um, I didn't see any chicks in the picture, which is a really smart move when you shroom. It's 11 dudes. I think it should be. Yeah. I think when chicks are there, you end up having to babysit them. Oh, yeah. And you're like, and they're just overthinking everything. Or, or they go into the bathroom and stare at themselves in the mirror. Uh-huh. It's about just like, hey, dude, Shroom Fest, dudes only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shroom should be like, Shroom Fest should be like really conservative schools. Like one school for the girls, one school for the boys. Right. You guys go do your thing where you guys tell each other you're pretty or whatever you want to over over explain everything hold each other's hair while you puke yeah and the other guys are just like dude 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 i could solve world problems dude r.i.p robin williams real quick Sad, we'll give you right? some of that tragic dude unbelievable i uh i i, I let me get into the sponsors that we'll get into all that all right guys you guys are doing great you guys are really helping us out thankful that you guys, you drunk punchers, are out there uh, helping us out. Obviously, Bet DSI, you guys are killing it. They tell us they're really happy with what you guys are doing. Go on, use a promo code Punch Drunk Sports, and get ten dollars betting cash. A lot of stuff to start betting on. Baseball's starting to get hot. Football's you, around the corner. Around the corner. We'll get into a little. We'll talk a little bit of uh, hard knocks with Jason Tebow in a couple seconds. He'll be joining us live on show. And then we also have Caveman Coffee. Use promo code Punch Drunk. Get ten percent off. Help us help you. I had to get more of that. What's that? Yeah, I, I had like two bags of it. No, it's gone. I got to get more. Yeah, buy it. Get it. Love it. And obviously the Amazon links. Guys, if you're buying something, you got a gift coming up. You want to buy something for your girlfriend, your boyfriend, because we're very progressive talk radio sports show. Hey, you like to bang dudes in the ass and you want to talk sports, support us. Go on Amazon links. Use our Amazon links on punchdrunksports.com and uh, help us help you help us. And uh, real quick, I got to say, PunchDrunkSports.com is really starting to come together. Mm -hmm. You guys are writing great articles. I really like your articles. The, the website, Bill Johnson, has done an excellent job. Follow him on Twitter. I mean, it's a great website. It looks, it looks so professional, man. And it's only start, starting to get better. We're going to be starting to do a whole bunch of things. We're going to start our own, uh, I, got, I, I got big plans for uh, Punch Drunk that Ari and Tebow and I are all, all really working on. So we're really excited and thankful for your uh, support. So that's the opening theme uh, talk. Done. Five minutes in. You think Ari would hate that? What's that? I didn't even see what that was. Yeah. Hate what? Do you think he, he thought it took too long on the, the sponsor oh, stuff? I can't even, 
Oh, oh no, no, that's fine. I mean, he's going to shit on you for everything. Hey, Fat Man, be on the alert for Ari. He's going to try to Skype in uh, from the airport. I don't know. I think he's flying back to New York today. Um, so he said he can Skype in from the airport for like 20 or maybe 30 or 40 minutes. That doesn't mean shit. He could easily not show up. Right. Uh, where were you when you heard about uh, Robin Williams? Were you still on the road? Were you at the airport? Vicente broke it to me mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yeah. So you Google it, and of course one says it's a Facebook hoax. Yeah. And then the stories start coming in, and it's it's really, really rough to take. Mm -hmm. uh, because I completely relate to the guy. I think everybody can. I mean, at least at least... You know, at the store last night, which was crazy. You know, I mean, I saw you, you were getting interviewed about it, and there was a, all the news crews were there. There's helicopters flying over. I mean, that's where he grew up. That's where where we grew up doing comedy, where we all met, where Dude. we all learned to hate each other and love each other. That, that's where he grew up, man. He, and he's returned there time and time and time again. When the comedy store needed a new roof, he did a weekend of shows in the main room, and all the money went to the store. He didn't take a fucking dollar from it. Just you know, he heard man, that that place needed help. And dude, fuck, the, man. The truth is, man, with comedians, I mean, we're not like bands, dude. We're not like bands where we could put out like a great album and tour off that album till our fan base dies. Right. I mean, like, you're you're lucky if this ends well. Mm -hmm. You're lucky if it ends right at all well. Most likely. A lot of time when it ends, it's just like getting out. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome, welcome. How terrible was parking? Oh, it wasn't that bad. Really? Please welcome to the show. Very funny comedian, a famous football fan. And what else you got going? Jen Sturger, everybody. Please welcome. The lovely and talented and the funny. Hey, can we? Uh, there we go. Much better angles. We're doing our shout outs to Robin Williams. Shouts outs. Shout outs for sure. How are you? Not bad. I'm uh at a show last night at the parlor. Was Where'd you fun? gig? I was at the parlor. The parlor, night. Jay Davis's yeah, Jay very Davis. popular show. Um, he packs that place. Sure out. as shit does. Packs it. Now here's the thing. It's either the greatest crowd or the dumbest crowd. Oh, yeah. What was it last night? We're gonna go with the latter. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was a. It was a. They're very shiny object comedy show yeah. where it's like very broad strokes. Well, I also followed someone that was like, it was like a straight. He was a straight up closer. You know what I mean? And so I was like, why was he in front of me? Let's like, you play want this the person? game. Who was it? The game who did she follow? It? Fat man, Jen, our good friend, punch drunk, friend of show, now on show. She had to follow a headliner that she didn't want to follow. Who do you think it was last night? Could be anybody. The, I love how the dog repositioned itself the minute I got in yeah. here. Oh, she's a, a <laughs> why is she spooning with you? Yeah, yeah she spoons. Me. That's Pollyanna, a.k.a. the monkey, a.k.a. the poopy, a.k.a. stink bunks, stinks majinx, tons of different names, depending on what region of the country you're from. Um, and I was in Florida. I want to talk about Florida soon, but oh, who do you think she had to follow last night? You can go with anybody. A headliner she didn't want to follow? Well, I mean, no, she had to he follow. Was a... He had, he was headliner status. Why is she following him? And I'm dying to know who it is. Just pick somebody, dude. You? Okay. You went with me? <laughs> you went with me? Um, I'm going to go with Dalia. It wasn't Dalia. It wasn't. Um, That's it was... an interesting reaction. That I'm going with Sinbad. You had to follow Sinbad, <laughs> no. and you don't know why you had to follow him. Yeah. Here it is. No. No, he was one of the guys from a deaf comedy jam, I think. He was, I'm, I don't really remember his name. That's Just all. black I guy. I was drunk. So you go up shit face. No, he was Are you nervous? Um, last night I was. Just Why? Because it's crowd, a big show? Not even because it's a big show. It's um. It's what the audience is. The audience is like super hot girls, which aren't exactly my target demo. Why? Sure. You're a super so you hot girl. you have to work super hard to get them to like you. Because they automatically don't like you. No, absolutely You're not. You're their competition. And I, took, and I took a chance last night and to, um, told them you not blew their off. boyfriends? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's not gonna make any sense. Uh, no, no I just, disagree. Yeah, I I, oh, you, all the guys are gonna buy all your merch. Hundred percent, my new best friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't have merch. I'm too busy buying other people's merch. This is my Yajit shirt. I figured since it's, we were talking sports, is this... you guys know about Yajits, right? Yeah, Jeter. No, but the whole Yajits thing. No, what is this? I love it. You've never heard of this? Okay, so apparently a girl that was like hooking up with Jeter. Um, mm -hmm. 
walked in on him one night because she had a key to his apartment. Yeah. And he was like after a game and watching himself on his highlights, butt naked, and was like, "Yeah, jeets." <laughs> Like, that's awesome. Yeah. So then, but like everybody was like, "That's got to be fake." And then another girl that I guess had hooked up with him corroborated it. Was like, "Uh, no, I was like doing something to him." You know. Um, what and, would you say that is? I say blowing him. Yes, exactly. Thank you for not um, going there. Yeah. <laughs> There's one Thanks thing this show has. It's yeah, dignity. we want to keep it. This is Christian comedy. Oh, it is. Sports? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no but I, I should remember our, our days together. So yes. Yeah. But no, uh, she was like, yeah, I was going down on him, and he was like, yeah, jeets. I love like that. Like he was saying the same thing. I love that's that. That's his thing. I think that to get to that level, you have to have a little bit of yeah, jeets in you. Exactly. You got you. You don't just well, make now it that I'm level. Sure both those girls do. So why is that dumb fuck giving out keys to his apartment? That's what I want to know. He doesn't give a fuck. Mm, that's something that's gonna blow up in his face. Like when you date a guy like that, and it's probably for girls too. If you date a girl so fucking hot, we're talking like Kate Upton hot. You have to is understand. Is Kate Upton still hot? Yes. What? Are yes. you even asking Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Are you the hot chick in the crowd she's judging the top Kate of the Upton mountain. as she comes on stage? I'm just, she's like a couple of like Otis Spunkmeyer cookies away from being like you overweight. See We're fine with that though. Yeah. Really? You, you, Hell yeah. You do not understand what guys who like girls really like. Give it to you me. You know what guys who like guys like in girls. <laughs> That's what you know. Give it to me then. What do you guys? We what like guys thick. Like? Bitches! I mean, guys like big, thick. I mean, we're not. To, I like it. I don't mind a little a weight on the bones. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. probably go a little bigger than most. I just like. I like That's thick a huge girls. Bitch. I yeah. I love. I love a chick you can just slam in it. And you just like got cushion. You know. I don't want to fucking what what did a cluster I don't call it? A skeleton. Yeah, a, a bag of uh, deer antlers. Who What's wants to hit that? What's considered a skeleton though? Like I'm. Am I a skeleton? Oh, uh, do you want to be a skeleton? What are you no. looking for? I mean, I think every girl in L. A. wants to be a skeleton. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. I think I you're in great shape. Thank I think you. you're scrawny as fuck. How about that? Does that make you feel good? You're a scrawny really bitch. Really makes me feel good about yeah. myself. Yeah. It does. <laughs> No, man. I think guys, I mean, women just don't realize, like, what guys like. Guys like really thick, thick chicks. Guys like curves. Guys, you know, I mean, that's just who we are. I think, like, scrawny, androgynous chicks, I don't think Like, guys a are... lot of chicks hate, want to hate Kate Upton. Yeah. Like, my ex-girlfriend would always be like, this, this is what you look at, you know, they would, like, Google pictures you know why, that they, they don't look great. I'm like, yeah. That's exactly what we want. Because if we walked around like that, our friends would be like, bitch, put the donut but down. But that's your problem. Yeah, because because you're you guys watching, base, yeah. women base how they look and feel about themselves based on what other women think and what gay guys think. Yeah, Those are the two people channel. that are not fucking you. No, <laughs> the, no, the people that are, the, all the groups of people that aren't trying to fuck you yeah. are the people you base how you look on. Yeah. And the people that are trying to fuck you are like, you do not need to lose yeah. you lose another pound. I'm I gonna slap you. I completely agree with that. You know, you let yeah. You guys watch the E Channel and MTV too much, and it's ran by fucking fives and and gay, gay guys. And, oh my god. And and they put androgynous bitches out there that look like they're from fucking space. These like alien looking bitches with these weird heads and these big eyeballs that need a sandwich. You know, and no, yeah, this exactly. Is a good look. It's not attractive. I don't know. So that you don't get the perspective. Because that's what marketers have done. They've niched everybody down to you get this one market. And you only hear that market because that's geared towards you. People were like, I'm here to hear sports. And no, instead we, we're talking no. about Kate Upton. No, this always happens. Kate Upton's banging sports guys. I mean, yeah. we're talking Verlander, Jeter. Right? Yeah, Verlander. Verlander. But it's like when you're with a chick like that or you're with a guy like Jeter or anything, you got to know that's timeshare. You're there for a week, yep. and it's someone else's turn. Oh, I wanted to make a joke like that so bad. Last you know what I'm saying? It's like you're not, you can't. I mean, I'm like, I, even, I don't care who you are, man. No matter how big you are, there's always going to be a more powerful alpha that comes around that throws heat at her, or there's another fucking chick who comes around that throws heat at her. It's just, it's, it's impossible. Like, the, the couples that make it are the ones who move from L.A. and live somewhere else. Yeah. And only come in town to work. Right. You stay here, there's just, it's just 
There's always too much. I think this town is just nothing but like one uppers is what yeah. I've seen, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um and the only way you like keep your cards here and the only way you keep any kind of power for a girl anyway. Are you going Kenny Rogers on us? Gotta no when to hold when to hold them. No? <laughs> I, I thought that's... my vagina. Yeah, no. there we go. Uh, but no, like, you have to withhold the goods. That's the only way you maintain any kind of power in L.A. Interesting, because I have a, a totally whore. different... Well, <laughs> I, have a to- like, I have a totally different idea. Well, I have a couple head. things I want to talk about on that whole thing. Uh, I had a talk with a comedian the other day who was talking to a couple comics about how he'd bang this one female comic in her ass. And I go, I pull him aside, I go, you can't do that, dude. You can't... Th- one, she's a comic. She works here. Two, she's mystical. She's letting you bang her in her ass, right? You can't, like, the worst thing that ever happened is she finds out you're telling anybody, now she's not going to let anybody bang her yeah, in her ass. Yeah, now you've just, you've just put everybody in purgatory. Women who fuck comics at the comedy store should be treated like war veterans coming back from Afghanistan. <laughs> Africa. You buy them a drink, you thank them for their service, and you let them, you let them have run of the place. You, we gotta support right. these chicks. We gotta stop nope. running bitches off. Right. Yeah, I think it's because the way I've seen it is comics get more awkward. Like the male gets more awkward about it than the girl. Does. I disagree that whole hardly. I think what hap- who ruins it is the one guy she won't fuck, and he gets so angry because she's just gone. Cock zombie crazy on everybody else. She's like, yeah, she's just, she's like a 1920s phone operator. Hello, <laughs> yeah. hello. Exactly. Give me Benson Hurst 537. Yeah, you know, so it's like she, she, she's hitting everybody, and he, the one guy she won't hit, he gets so angry, he gets so butthurt that yeah. he's like, and like puts her on blast. Listen, Matt, I've had a ton of chicks say, nope, not happening, and I get it because I've had chicks who want to hook up with me, and I'm like, uh, uh-uh. uh, and that takes a lot for me to say, uh, uh-uh. uh, but it's like. You just can't take it personal. No. You just gotta move on to the next one. Yeah. So that that was my whole thing. It's just, I, and in terms of not giving up, I can understand that to a point in terms of business wise. Yeah. Like you shouldn't fuck guys that you want to do business with unless that's the best way to do business with them, which totally fucking happens. Oh. But in terms of really? hooking up with somebody, I say give it up quick. Let's just feel if this is gonna work. Right. Uh, am I? Is my dick too small and your vagina too wide? And I'm just banging the signs like a drunk driver. Or do oh we work? God. Are we working? Yeah, it's like bumper bowling. Yeah. Just like... Yeah. I mean, bump, 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 bump. It's fucking horrible. Strike. Eventually, if, yeah. You might get a strike eventually. Because I can even hang out with you if we're great in bed, but I think you, we don't get. Lo- I can still hang out with you. Yeah. But if we're not good in bed, I don't care if we enjoy the same books and all that shit. It's not. You can't hang out. No. If I if it's not fun having sex, we. I mean, like. Granted, it's really hard not to have good sex, but it's like, you know what I'm talking about. There's some sex that's like, oh, my God. Uh, oh. And then there's some that's like, oh, but okay, it's still sex, dude. Thank you. Preach. Uh-huh. Come on, you've had a, a dude where you're like, this is not working. Oh, yeah. I mean, but... <laughs> Oh, that was Maybe really girls sad. can that do it more really than guys, but too. I just think that we're in a no, day and age where to make sure... test drive the car. Well, I test drove it twice just to make sure that the first terrible incident was not like a drunk fluke mm-hmm. and I was like nope you are every bit as bad as I thought you were and then some I had that chicken a, a chicken college but I gave him a me. good I gave him like an honest shot you know what I mean like I went back and I was like alright let's try this again <laughs> uh huh right <laughs> let's see if you know nope nope still didn't work. Then right what the... was the problem um I think it's cause he's an alcoholic so too drunk too drunk to function um in that was this arena in college or out here or out Florida? Here. Okay, all right. Yeah, out here because I was in a really long relationship, so I just got out of that not that long ago. What's a long relationship? Four years. Oh, that's long. That yeah, is long. That's long. Mm-hmm. I feel like you give if you are in a relationship for four years and you don't end up marrying that person, I feel like I just wasted all that time. Girls do that all the time. Mm-hmm. Girls what? see it as wasting. Mm-hmm. What is it then? Four laps around the sun. Yeah, maybe, but I just, I, I totally understand what you're saying. I totally understand what you're saying. I get it. I get mm-hmm. it. It is wasting. I get it. Yeah, uh, what like age well, are you ju- What age are you dating now? Um, Anywhere from like 27, 28 to like 42. Okay, know? let me just say this. Older guys. 35. And if you're looking for love, I, I was telling this chick the other day. If you're looking for love, you don't go under 35. I know. You gotta just, it's like, 
It's like get back to me in seven years. And when you're especially done. under thirty. Under thirty, yeah. you're fucking. You're it's it's timeshare. You're just it's like there's just too many options now, especially today when it's just like there's no real. And if they have any kind of success too, you know that's that's the other thing. Yeah, I feel bad for girls in that sense. It's like if you date that successful guy, I know everybody's going for. That's why you should date plumbers and guys who own like Seven Elevens. Like they're successful, they got money, and but nobody. But they don't have the. A- I my my whole thing with cheating is, is you gotta have access, and I feel like a lot of guys that are successful have that access. Oh yeah. You know, like even guys that are just really successful, like traveling salespeople, they have access. It's like being you know like a sailor back in the day. They got a lot of ports. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So there's so many places that they can pull into and be like, hey, you remember me? Well, plumbers have a lot plus of access. Faith, plus faith. Yeah. Not really. They're always yes. in fucking houses. I know, but you're still a plumber. I understand. The the There's got to be like a certain level of status and a certain level of access, you know, for like the optimal booty um, bringing in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, booty bringing in. Whatever. Shut I love up. Ass cultivating. I love the. I'm dairy. an ass farmer. Ass farmer. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ass farmer. Have you ever been a pussy broker? No. That's where you like you kind of uh, g- recommend to other chicks, guys. Like, I had a female friend, Lauren Jackson. Her whole thing was she would go up to chicks and sell me to them. She was like my... Oh, she was a wing person. Yeah. No, I call it pussy broker. Okay, well... Wing person jumps on the fucking... Grenade. Yeah, for you. Like, you know, you're, I'm hitting on but you and your cock-blocking fat friend over here. <laughs> Jason would come in and drop dick on her. I'd fuck and the then shit out of let us be alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those boobs I went to. Oh, yeah, dude. dude, titty fucking you're getting, fat. You're getting man. nailed, bro. Nice. Titty fucking than, fat, man. They jiggle more than mine. So lots of sports to talk about. I mean, what an interesting week. We got Daryl Wright from uh, the Right Turn going to call in and talk about this whole Tony Stewart thing. Oh my God, I'm a huge NASCAR fan. I really? Just, yeah. No, I was. You're I was, from the South, yeah, I assume. Yeah, I was doing some. I, I first oh, I wasn't doubting you. I was just. I, that was like a, <laughs> really? That, that was. It was the intimation. Mm-hmm. Of yeah. The like, it's still. Like, where are you? Well, just better. because I'm not at all. Which is weird because you're white trash. You think and, from be, Indi- and from Indiana. I mean. Well, you're, you're probably more of like, a, like, you know, a Formula One or an Indy car guy. None of it. None of it? None of it. No racing. Nope. Is it because they go around in circles? Yeah. Uh, you just get. I you just, have ADD, I, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I, I just find it boring. I, I, I want to see the last 30 seconds. Yeah, you want to see the first 30 seconds, the last yeah. 30 seconds, anytime there's a restart, anytime where there's a chance for chaos and like all the cars get together. Yeah, right. you want Otherwise, crashes. Yeah, exactly. People don't go to watch, they don't go to watch cars run around in circles. They go no, to they watch get crashes. Hammered. Yeah, oh, it's a giant drinking I fest. mean, that's all it is. I feel like like NASCAR, like the early 2000s, was getting huge, and then it just dropped. And I don't know why. Danica. Really? No, she's interesting. She's um, interesting. No. She um, seems not very liked to me. Is that, is that's that true? The issue. But that's she the doesn't issue. seem to have a winning personality. Exactly. Right. She's she's just not a likable brand for the most part. You know, like when people when people do like her, it's because she's an attractive woman. And, and she's I feel not like, winning. No. That's her biggest problem. She's not winning. She's you know, it's like you can get all the endorsements in the world. But you gotta win, and then when you don't win and you keep getting endorsements, people get resentful. I mean, yeah. how long did like there was like a whole whole group of people love Junior, but there was a lot of people going, "Why does everybody like Junior? He's never winning." Even yeah, he's now never he winning, even though now he is exactly. Did you go to a lot of NASCAR as a kid? No, I actually didn't get into it until I was in college, and um, and I had written like that I kind of didn't understand NASCAR. Like when I wrote an SI article, I didn't understand the appeal because all my friends were like, yeah, you need to go check this out. And I was like, no thanks. And so NASCAR reached out to me and was like, hey, really, you should come to, uh, come to, come to Daytona, come to Talladega and uh, just see what we're about. So I went and it was, a f- it was a blast, honestly. I mean, it, it's a big party. It's a giant, it's like the white tra- trash bashes we used to throw in college, but like on a professional scale, you know? And there's some cars going around in it, too. So, right. Yeah. Let me ask you something. We have a couple people calling in. We have one of our correspondents oh, who's got cancer. He wants to talk to us. Or do you want to talk to our training correspondent? Welcome to Punch Drunk Sports. Which one do you want to talk to? Bring it on. Let's do this. All right. Let's go to... Oh, uh, God. What do you want to talk to? Let's go to Dustin. We have, we, no, we have no idea how much time he has left. <laughs> Dustin. Dustin, how are you? Hey, Sam. What's up? Dustin. What's up, dude? How are you? What's going on? I, I thought we'd try something new today. 
talk about sports. <laughs> oh. Oh, great. Oh, come on. We're talking to Jen. She's total sports. Who's Jen? Who's Jen? Are you watching us? No, I don't have... I'm not around my laptop right now. Oh. oh nice. Where are you? Uh, sitting on the back porch right now. <laughs> Dustin, I have to ask you something. Are you okay with your wife sending me nudie pics telling me... Telling me that she wants me to do weird shit to her. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah, I was with her whenever she sent it. And I said, as long as the face is in the picture, it's cool. So. As long as her face, but her her snatch and tits are fine? Well, relative, relatively speaking, yeah. I mean, you know, that way if you ever decide to put them online or anything, at least, you know, sister tits and everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if you want to like put him on the Facebook page to yeah. see how many likes she gets, it's, it's so it's so <laughs> unusual. It's like I can't think of a more. You're scumbag. blowing their mind right now. Yeah, on my side, like who's the bigger? Oh, his 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 friends was dying of cancer, and he's sex messaging his wife. It's like it's really uncomfortable. Dustin, I see you, they they pulled the rip. They, all the cords came out of your dick, right? Yeah, Jesus Christ, man! I've never felt anything like that before. They pulled it uh, right out. No anesthesia. Yeah, so check this out. Are you so calling your agent went, going, why'd you book me on this? No, I don't have an agent. <laughs> you don't have an agent? So I went, um, it was a few days ago, and they were you know, going to remove them. Uh, it's called a stint, I think is what it was called. It's, it's called hell. And, uh, yeah. So I go in, um, and it's this, it's this cute fucking nurse. I mean, she's probably 24, 25, you know, redhead, really pretty. And uh, she's like, drop your pants. I'm like, all right. I said, uh, where's the anesthesia? Where's the numbing stuff? She's like, no, we're we're not doing that. Did you ask him why can't you numb my dick before you rip these wires out? Yeah, she it, said. Well, she said it only. Call, she said this takes about five seconds and it's over. That is a, like, the, yeah, so, a hell of five seconds. Yeah. That sounds yeah, like so, it. I don't even have a dick. So I drop my <laughs> pants, sit up there, and. You know, here I've got this, you know, really fucking cute girl sitting there, you know, and it's nice that she grabbed a hold of my dick first, which was, you know, that was the only place. Where did she grab? Place. Did she grab it like a snake? Like, just like it, the snake, and she grab it, or did she cut balls like she, like a, a Thai massage parlor? Like, what was the grab? Was it, it was, like it was a, was like snakes on a plane? She grabbed it before I could bite her? Or did what she <laughs> pump? She grabbed it gently. You know, just grabbed the shaft. You know, just had it sticking straight up. And she's like, all right, now take a deep breath in. Uh, oh, that's uh, so I take a deep breath. And she's like, now let it out. And then she starts pulling. And then, like, <clears throat> you know, here I'm in the doctor's office. I'm screaming, you know, like, God damn it, God damn it. And, and uh, I mean, she, I look up and she's still pulling. She pulls out two and a half feet of. What is it? What is your stuff. dick? One of those mag magician things where you pull like fucking. Yeah. What would be hilarious is like at the very end of it, an anchor. <laughs> no, what if at the end she does this? Yeah. So at the end of it, so at the end I'll raise up and I throw up. You know, I'm like. You threw up? Yeah, you oh, have to. Yeah. I threw up all over the place. <laughs> and uh, she's like, holy shit, she's like, are you all right? She's like, I was like, no. She said, do you want to see it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And she shows it to me. And like I said, it's like two and a half feet of this, like, wire, blue wire stuff. Oh, and I, I take one look of it, it, and, you know, it's covered. I don't know why, shit. guys. Oh, why I'd, do you guys always want to see whatever, like, the medical, like, yeah, I want to see the grossest medical I wouldn't stuff want to see it. I wouldn't ever. I wouldn't like, I'd say burn that shit. Now, is there, are there any yeah. good, like, side effects did you go, of this? Did you go, yeah, jeet, yeah. <laughs> are there... Are there any good side effects to this? Like, you can now use your dick as like a vase. <laughs> You'd like put flowers in there and shit. That would be cool. Honey, I got you flowers. No, the good part of it was being able to use it again, having sex and shit. I mean, so you went right back the to the part. house and started using it. Well, I mean, I went home and beat off and uh, okay. just went here. <laughs> Does, so, when did this become a, a phone sex? I like, I was like, Guys, we're going to try something different. We're going to talk about sports today. <laughs> right after Three that. minutes later, I got home. I peed off. I had a wire coming out of my cock. This hot nurse had a finger in my ass. Well, see, I knew, I, I knew y'all wouldn't let me talk about sports, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, what do you want to no. say? Hurry up, Dustin. We got to go to a uh, training correspondent. What, what sports do you want to talk? 
I just want to talk some NBA because we haven't even touched on LeBron and Kevin Love and all that shit. All right. What uh, do you want to say? What you I mean, take? I, looking at them, I mean, I've, I've hated LeBron for years now. You know, ever since he did the, the, the decision, yeah. I just thought it was a punt move. Yeah, uh, but dude, got, like, you could only I hate LeBron like for that first year. For After that, I think yeah. you just got to go back that he's the greatest, one of the greatest to ever play the game. Yeah. But, I mean, now I've got, like, an ounce of respect back for him. I still don't really like him. But now it's going to be really hard because I'm a huge Kevin Love fan. I, I love that guy. Oh, and now crazy. I have to watch him play with LeBron. And I don't know. I'm kind of torn this year. You know, what am I supposed to do? You know, cause I don't like LeBron, LeBron, but I do like Kevin Love. And I want to see him win a championship. And You want to see I'm Kevin Love think- win a championship? Do what? Do you want to do you want to hear, see Kevin Love win a championship? I do, and I feel like, I mean, I think it's a foregone conclusion. They're winning the East. I mean, I don't see any way around that. I don't give a damn if Derrick Rose is coming back or not. Yeah, I mean, nobody's beating it. Nobody's beating they the Cavs. Stay, they stay healthy. They're nobody's beating the Cavs. Of course, you got two I guys mean, who are known for be being the hurt. Bulls and the, Cavs. the Bulls and Cavs will be in the Eastern Conference Finals, and then God knows who's coming out of the West. Derrick Rose but, looks good, though. I don't know if you watch any of that Team USA stuff, yeah. but he looks oh, good. Yeah. And again, like we talked, if he doesn't play that violent style of fuck, go stop real quick. That's why he keeps blowing out his knees. If I'm yeah. any GM or coach for the Bulls, I'm terrified of him playing in these. No, they wanted Team him USA. To. They wanted him to get back on the court and start playing. All right. It's, it's one mean, of those it, catch twenty two. It scares me watching him. I mean, hold on. I just keep thinking. Jen's trying to talk. Okay, we get it. You got cancer, but hold on. Go on. No, it's one of those catch-22s, though. You want, it's like you want, to, want him to get the reps in, you know, kind of like a preseason sure. football game. But you're hoping that people aren't, like, playing full. Like, play just well enough for us to win. Yeah. But, like, not well enough where you risk getting injured. I, you know? I think that everybody on that team does, doesn't want to see him get hurt. I think they're all friends. I think even though they're competitive, that... But seriously, if anybody beats us, we have a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. I mean, he's great. He I mean, that's a legit guy who's like, who is it when he's healthy, he's, can be a top five guy. Sure. Yeah. That's sure. a huge pickup, man. Sure. I mean, they don't but need Kevin Love. They went to, after him. After seeing what happened to Paul George, though, I mean, you know that had to scare the fuck out of him. I My, think it scares I'm, any athlete. It scares me watching yeah. it. And I'm just, that was I'm an uncoordinated white girl. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. But I mean, which one? Which injury do you think was worse, the uh, the wear injury or that one? Do you remember the wear injury yeah. in the yeah. tournament? I mean, well, did both of their bones part. hang out? Ugh. I think wears was the only one that I'm going came wear. out. Yeah, oh. I'm going yeah, wear. But my favorite oh, thing is that Paul George still announces he's changing his jersey number. Like, you know, they had planned that to release that and make a big thing out of it, and it's like I'm changing my number. It's like you might not be playing for like a year and a half. Oh. Why is it a big deal? You really think it's going to be that long? I don't yeah, think so. I, I don't, he's be, definitely not playing this year. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. It will be a year and a half, like, time-wise. He won't miss a season yeah. and a half, but he won't be all this offseason, all next season, and then the offseason again. Hey, hey, uh, real quick, Dustin, who do you think, who do you think uh, comes out of the West? Um, there we go. Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> We hang up on people here. Uh, real quick, can we go to our tranny correspondent real quick? Tranny correspondent, you're on with Jen. Hey. Oh, Jen, yeah, I saw her picture on Twitter. I can't watch the live feed, but I saw her picture on Twitter. She's hot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she appreciates that. Yeah. How is she scrawny? Girls like hearing that. But she's lacking one thing that you love, a dick. Yeah. <laughs> How's yeah, the tranny cool. world? That's the only thing that could make her perfect is a big <laughs> eight-inch cock. I think there's a lot of people out there that would disagree with that <laughs> statement. Let but... me ask you something, Tranny yeah, correspondent. There's actually a lot of people who would agree with that statement because it's the most searched thing on the internet is tranny porn. I would, I, yeah, but then I would In have to house. give, I would have to give the girl, yeah, I would have to give the girl that does the dance across the pink taco, you know, in front of sunset. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I would have to give her a run for her money. Like, what are you supposed to do when you? When She's you're just like, trying to become famous. That woman. She's, She's gonna dance job. until somebody puts her on television. Exactly. Now, Dancing like, with the stars. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what's gonna be. 
I can't tell if she at one time she was hot and now she's just crazy because she's not ug- she's not really ugly. No, she's not out of shape at no, all. No, not at all. She just she's has super this bad haircut that like that's not a haircut. It's a wig. Come the, on. Why do you think she's a tranny? She's a it's a wig. No, she's all over like these. I found her online. Um, What's her name? Can I you don't bring remember. Her, what she's is on it? The, no, I don't know her name. She's on like this website called The Dirty. And, what are you um, doing on The Dirty? Thirteen-year-old girls go on The Dirty. <laughs> are you looking for your own pictures? <laughs> no. What's I'm, Jen been up to? Um, no, I was uh, I was investigating a girlfriend of mine because I thought like she might be into some like where what porn? No, no. Bondage. I thought she might be doing drug some, dealing, like, some shady stuff. So I want. My friend said, "Oh, you should check it out on there." Who knows? Oh my what, god! Like fucking lady boys in That's Bangkok? so weird. Lady yeah. boys. <laughs> he loves. He came to L. A. Uh, he's been Where calling our I show for. Where can I find you for, online? He found us uh, at our original studio. This is our third studio. You just keep getting booted. No, we just keep moving. It's actually our fourth. Really? We were here first. So where oh, can yeah. I find his picture? Uh, can I see a picture of you, like, done nope. up with makeup and stuff, or no? No, he doesn't oh, get no, it. He, he, doesn't, just no. likes... he just likes it. Yep. Oh, damn. He but here's the problem. Yeah. I, wanted, I wanted makeup tutorials. Why do our two guys who have fatal diseases calling in when Jen's here today? Uh, Tranny correspondent most likely has AIDS right now because he came into town. He totally boned a Santa Monica... Donut time tranny. Whoa. Yeah, but I found it on I found it on backstage, and I think they need to like pass an aid test. No, that that's you website, convincing so. yourself of that. There's no AIDS test requirement for backstage <laughs> page. Because what I do is whenever I go on the road and go into town, I like to look on back page. I can tell what type of town I'm dealing with by the level of prostitution that's out. Don't fall for that though. Some girl was using my pictures on there. Oh yeah, dude. I've seen Maymays on like just weird porn sites of girls who are friends of mine. Like, just their oh, picture yeah. of Facebook going, I can't get enough of black cock. And you're just like, I know that girl. That's not her That's at not all. That's not her, exactly. Uh, so I just make sure whenever I find, like, my buddies will send it to me, and I'm like, why were you looking for this? Uh, but I'll always post them on my profile and be like, hey, guys, give her a call. Hey, guys, I'm not sucking dick for 40 roses in Jacksonville, just exactly. to let you know. <laughs> right. Exactly. Or if I'm doing a comedy show, I'll post it. On the like flyer for the comedy show, and be like, "Hey guys, that's so funny." <laughs> show tonight. Do you think that's maybe why chicks hate you when you walk up? Because you're oh, the don't. chick who's there sucking dick for I forty don't. roses. Exactly, maybe. You've seen her on Sports Illustrated, Fox Sports, and Backpage sucking dick for forty. Please welcome Jen Sturger, everybody. Hey. Hi, everybody. What's up, with guys? Oh my um, god. Training correspondent, what do you want to call in about? Is Jen in the anal at all? Is Jen an anal? I don't no. I think Jen maybe is. She I would say no. I would guess no way. Really? I would think no. I'm a tiny girl, okay? There's only so many places. I know. There's fit. no way that you, yeah, I just, you must take the most lovely poops. I think this is you. That's the problem with this girls. Is you. They're not into anal. Yeah, exactly. I think that's Chicks Jen. They're not into anal. Yeah, they're not. I mean, well, some girls are. are. Some girls are. There are chicks who like it in the ass. I, you know why? I don't know where that comes from. I feel like if a guy is wanting to do that to me, there's a, like a chance that he just might be like any hole will do, and he might have like the Piazza syndrome, where it's like, if a dude's available, a dude's available. If a chick's available, oh, a so chick's you available. Piazza Piazza went both ways. That's like a rumor <laughs> that I heard. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I I don't know, I don't know. Like, it's it's one of those rumors that's like those urban legends of sports that are out there. Like, I'm not like gonna put myself out there and say that I've said that, but you know. I used to work at a uh, the Standard Hotel, and there was a famous NBA player staying there, and tranny hookers used to go in there all the time. Really? Yeah. That's great. I think what I know who you're talking about. I bet you don't. I bet you I do. <laughs> say the name, and I'll, I'll tell you whether. It's- Hell no! I'm already getting. I'm already like uh, getting myself in trouble. So I got you, but no, I'll I, 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 I tell you, it. I could give you 50 guesses, and you would never guess it. I'll I mean, take this, a guess. I mean, Kobe Bryant fucks trannies. <laughs> no, no, fuck you, Kobe. No, 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 no. Right? Close though. Well, show's over. Kobe Bryant fucks trannies. You're close in the sense that it's a black guy. Well, obviously. Yeah. So we've already had a gay guy uh, sports. Athletes come out as gay. When will they have one come out as a tranny lover? Can I just say this doesn't really sound like tranny correspondent, by the way. I don't it's know if they... Name, man. Mm, it kind of does Maybe he's on his landline. <laughs> does anyone have a landline anymore? No, only stupid It's been people. a long... Old people. Old like people. grandmothers do. Oh, 
So do you like do you like trannies or cr- do you like trannies or cross dressers? I like trannies. I consider myself about twenty five to thirty three percent gay. Okay, because so you're beating like Brody Stevens. So there's a percentage of gay. Yeah, but here, let's just think about this, Jen. You went to Florida State. You used to party. I'm sure there was a couple times you got a little frisky with some chicks. Cause never. That's what, never. 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 Made you never made out with a girl. Never. You never played no, titty oh, fight or that. something like no. that. No. Not once. Never. I'm actually, I mean, I talk a big game, but I'm actually like a really good girl. I'm convinced girls with sex talk a big game the way guys talk about fighting. Like, we're always like, dude, I'll fuck that dude up. Chick's like, I don't even give a shit. I'll get my freak out. He's now, oh, I thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. No, that's exactly how I operate. I will talk, like, one of the guys at the comedy store was like, Jen walks around with, like, big dick confidence. Like, no one wants to mess with her in that regard. Yeah. But uh, it's all an act. I'm super awkward, so... You're super awkward. So I never mean, in college, like you and your friends having like a pillow fight in your pajamas. No. Next thing you know, everyone's eating each other out, and I'm no. in the back of the corner beating off. Yeah. That's the guy in the window. That that's the guy in the window. I knew you looked. This familiar. is your life. <laughs> yeah. No, Jen, I knew you not. in college. I was the guy who sat outside your window. Oh. This is your life. Um. Okay. We don't want to make you uncomfortable. You obviously you don't want to talk about lesbianism. Um. So when you come back, training correspondent, so we can get in some real sports. Um. Real sports, FIBA is coming up. What? FIBA, the World Cup. Basketball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm ex- actually excited about it. I mean, they're all worried about Kevin Durant not being on a team, but I, personally, I just think that we're so loaded. Yeah, we're so stacked, it's not even funny. I mean, like, I mean, like he Kevin Durant is like a higher level, but Rudy Gay's pretty nasty. To bring yeah. him in, that guy could go for 20 on anybody. Yeah. I mean, there's so many great players, but you know what is really weird is that, like, now people like Anthony and LeBron James are starting to enter that older players in the league. Yeah, but it's not even like, I feel like with this stuff, it's not even like uh, like when we lose players, like, to hockey, like, when we have to, like, give our, our players yeah. back, you know what I mean? Like, that's not that kind of scenario with this, so no. we're not losing as many people, you know, to, to like, their original countries it's, or whatever. It's just you know? like Dirk. Yeah. Okay, explain. You know what I mean? Doesn't he always go play for Novinsky? Do- uh, what is he, German? Yeah. What he is? Like, we'll lose, like, there's like two or a couple three of guys, but most guys that, like, have to carry that team. Right. Yeah. And then it's like, but that's but just to make stacked. it a little interesting. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it's totally different because yeah. you, they're all Russian and Canadian. Exactly. You know what I mean? Those are the two teams that are stacked exactly. when it comes to hockey. Mike Jacklin, hold on. We're, we'll get to you in two seconds. Uh, but I just feel like we're about to enter, like, this most amazing time in the NBA because we're right now everyone thinks it's like a point guard league like we're in this amazing to a point guard era mm-hmm. but if you really think about we're also in a power forward era mm-hmm. if you yeah. think of like how many great power forwards are I mean and we only have Kevin Love going to the east that's the first time one of the great power forwards is in the east they were Blake Griffin uh L.A. in mm-hmm. in Portland, the Marcus Aldridge, mm-hmm. Kevin Love was out west for the longest time. Anthony Davis, who is like to me the next only, level insane. To me, the only thing that we're not in is a center. No, I disagree <laughs> with that too. Name me, dude. You, there used to be a time when you could name twelve to fifteen dominant centers. I'm t- I I don't know. I'm saying we're about to enter this dominant center time, and that is. L- Cousins in Sacramento, as much of a head case he is, he's still a 25 and 10 dude. Uh, you have Andre Drummond, who I was completely wrong on, who sucked in Connecticut, and now he's like really good. Uh, Anthony Davis could go center. Uh, who else do we got? They just got drafted. Do you think, that kid. Uh, do you think Ray Allen will retire? No. I, I, are we talking centers, dude? DeAndre Jordan? Yeah, good center. What's that? They all suck. DeAndre Jordan sucks. Okay, real Andre quick. Drummond. You're, Who you're comes out of the center. East? Who comes out of the East, training correspondent? Huh? Who comes out of the East? East? Yeah, there we there go. go. Get the fuck out of here. Don't ever say DeAndre Jordan sucks yeah. on this show. Yeah. Sorry, we dropped the call. What is your team? My team? Yeah. Um, You know, when it comes to NBA, I'm kind of torn just because, like, I'm from Florida. You've dated so many guys no. on so many teams. No, no, not in the NBA. Not You're not an NBA, NBA guy. I do not. No, I don't date Jen, basketball don't players. Oh, I'm sorry. 
So sorry. Rank, it's my ADD, man. Sorry. Rank your, like, in, like, what order you like what sports. Hold on, Jax. Oh, uh, let's no see. Problem. Like college football one. College football's one. Yeah, yeah all day. Uh, oh, but, but in terms of dating, who who are you dating? Who am I dating? Um, MLB. Yeah. Ma- Major League Baseball. I think for a woman, if you really want to be happy, you go Major League Baseball, yeah. hockey. Yeah. Then just, what's after that? Soccer maybe? But that's not a lot of money. Tennis, NFL. Dude. NFL, I mean, is up there. It really is. As long as, like, there's there's good guys to find. I just feel like after working in sports for so long, um, I just, I don't know. I kind of know their game. I know what they're about. And yeah. So, like, it's one of those things where if you are going to date an athlete, like, you've, it's got to be someone on your level where they understand that, like, look, I can pull just as much booty as you can, but, like, there's not websites full of women that are, like, talking about the booty that I'm pulling. So it's much more discreet. So it's like, don't screw me over and I won't screw it's you gotta over. It's got to be hard. It's a, it's, it's just a very honest thing, you know, and you both, you have to both know like what level you're playing on. I want, I want to continue this conversation. Uh, Mike Jaglin's joining us from Clipcast. It's, a, it's the number one Los Angeles Clipper podcast on the, on the web. Uh, who is the girl that used to work at the Clippers that we both love to death? Oh, Madeline Burke. Madeline Burke. Uh, have you ever met Madeline Burke? No. This gorgeous blonde, right? Gorgeous blonde. Great about reporter. six six one. Oh damn. Right? And the yeah. ass of a black chick. Nice. It was uh, phenomenal. Was it was phenomenal. Now this girl used to go on the road with the clippers. Oh god. Now if you're I see what you're implying. No, I'm not implying anything. And if she did do it, I wouldn't blame her because how could you be around as a woman? That is the ultimate thing you would want like yeah. a genetic millionaire and you just have 12 of them right there yeah it's like us working victoria's secrets it's not even that it's kind of like uh who's the girl that keeps just having sex and having babies with random athletes um she played volley- volleyball or basketball at us yeah. she has played griffin's child yeah exactly. <laughs> she has, yeah she has played griffin's child exactly uh, but she was Leonard's yeah. she was Leonard's baby mama first and now yeah. she's Blake Griffin's yeah. baby mama I'm like that girl yeah. knows how to play <laughs> you know like yeah. that girl knows how to play the and, game and, and, that girl knows how to get knocked Blake, up Blake, Blake Griffin got her her brother basically into the NFL too put like put a demo together for him and everything and he turned out to be like one of the best tight ends last year yeah and, dude, I mean, like, the word is that he went through everything he could not to get her pregnant, and she got pregnant. That's, like, Man, that's what? that's uh, sabotage that's, on someone else's end. But I, like, I can, under, I, in a weird way, even though I think it's completely unethical. You're like, he like, had it coming. <laughs> like, such no, a but it's just like, it's just like, you have a chance to, for the next 18 years, just never really have to work. Absolutely. Next next 18 years i mean the, the money that those guys make i mean she probably dried up liner i mean yeah. he, he he had i mean he was making money before that nfl put a salary cap on these rookies he was making so, money when he was I mean, at usc no yeah. <laughs> let's keep it yeah. imagine if your kid your baby's daddy one is a heisman trophy winner the other is blake fucking griffin yeah, right. and are, are, and and with well, like her size too, you know that they're just breeding more athletes. Oh, you know those you know I mean? that kid is going to be able to dunk from like exactly. the three point line from the other end. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's dunking in kiddie pools as we speak. Let me right. ask you something, and Jags. We'll get into the, okay. I, we'll ask you the next round. Jags, the Clippers finally sold. Happy days are here again. Ding dong, Don is gone, huh? Yeah. I mean, wow. This was. Uh, this has been an emotional last, you know, four or five months. I mean, uh, you know, we were lucky enough to be there for the playoff run and go through this tumultuous mess. Uh, and the way the season ended, you know, it, it was really sad because they really came together at the end and uh, they were playing their best basketball. And, uh, you know, early June, um, you know, finally it seemed like, the sale was going to go through, and then Don decides to uh, do Don things, which is just uh, lawyer Unbelievable. Up. And uh, finally, you know, Shell's Bell, Shelly Sterling, she won uh, unanimously in court last week, which was 
huge. I have so, a couple uh, things about that. First of all, anybody who's acting like Shelly Sterling is a saint in this. She's a hot mess. Is, is completely wrong. She's co-signed on all this forever. Like, she knew he was a racist. She was always fine with it. She's just collecting checks. And she just oh, you, you're to, you're to, you're you're totally right. The the thing is that she was on the right the right side of the fence this time. This time, and she, you know, big time. And she's going to get you know season tickets, courtside seats, and if they win a title, she'll get two rings out of it. Yeah. So let's let's you know let's not forget that too. But yep. you know, it, it, this guy put the family through muck. I mean, hearing the stories that you know, poor Eric Miller. Eric Miller, for those who don't know was basically the good guy in the Clippers organization, Diamond Don, Donald Sterling's son-in-law, who kind of helped kind of smooth over things and, you know, was instrumental in bringing in Doc Rivers. You know, um, all these positive changes that the Clippers have had over the past five years, Eric Miller was instrumental. and He was going to be kind of that heir apparent once Diamond Don ticked it. Well, he's the one that flew on the plane to San Francisco when all this stuff hit yeah. the fan in, in uh, late April, and he's the one that now is probably not going to get anything, you know. <laughs> and now it, it, it's a greater day with Steve Ballmer coming, you know. And oh, I over couldn't ask for a better owner, dude. I am so excited uh, that that crazy billionaire is our owner. This is a toy. I mean, he's the, he's the richest man now. Uh, he's over Prokolov. He's over Cuban. Uh, you know, being the richest owner in the NBA. Um, you know, he, he, pray, he paid a pretty sum, and he's probably never really going to recoup things. But, again, this is a guy that comes from a, a technology mindset uh, with, with Microsoft. And, you know, he's going to market the hell out of this team. This team is going to be out there. And it's just, you know, it, it's a great day to be a Clipper fan, and it's a great day for basketball in general. Let me ask you something. Do you know who the poorest owners in the NBA are? You know, I I, I don't know. Probably I'll, the, the ten guys that own the Milwaukee Bucks. I was going to say Bucks. I, That's my guess. Yeah. No, the I poorest. The poorest is the Bus family who owns the Lakers because they're the only ones that don't have an outside business mm -hmm. like Microsoft or anything like that. They only own the Lakers. That's how they make their money. They don't but have they any got that Time Warner contract. Let's yeah. not forget that. Yeah, I mean, but, that's the thing. but they're you're, not you're billionaires making, from something else. Fit. They're strictly yeah. Lakers. They have no yeah, other no. family business. Yeah, they're in the basketball yeah. business. I get what you're saying. So they're like, they're like, they're not that rich, man. That's why they're very stingy on shit. That's why you know they've really didn't want to hire coaches. I mean, they didn't want to fire Dan Tony. He quit. Again, he quit his second job when he realized I got. I give him a lot of fucking points for walking out when he knew he's just a lame duck. Yeah. Well, they didn't. They didn't want to hire a coach because they want. They, they were living on a pipe dream that they were going to get LeBron or Carmelo or some big name, and then 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 that guy could help choose the next coach. Um, you know, that was one of the reasons why they. I mean, led poor Byron Scott down down the river the way they did, interviewing him once three times. Um, but, you know, and it's funny, too, because Byron Scott could have been easily uh, the, the Clipper coach uh, before Doc Rivers. You know, I, he's he, not he, good. He, he, he's not, but he wooed over Diamond Don, and Diamond Don at the time didn't want to pay that $7 million a year that Doc Rivers was, you know, making, making in Boston. Yeah, I get so, it. So, um, but this is, this is a great I day. Know There's going to be a. Go. There's going to be a giant fan fest uh, introduction news conference on Monday down at State. We're going to be there. Ball. You're going to give me a pass, State. right? Punch Drunk Sports and Clipcast is going to be Monday, 1230, at the L.A. Clipper Fan Fest for the new owner. I'm excited. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's going to be the new owner, the team, Doc Rivers. Um, again, this is phenomenal news because finally this, this can go away. And, uh, you know, the NBA has already come out and said that you know, they're going to counter sue anything that Don decides to do because, again, he, he uh, put harm with harm to the Clippers and to the NBA with everything he did. And, uh, you know, it's just a great day. All it right. really is. 
Jags, we love you. Thanks for calling in. I'll see you on All Monday. Right. Listen to the Clipcast, which is now going to be fe- featured on PunchDrunkSports.com. Uh, very excited. And, and, yeah, and we'll, we'll have a new one out tomorrow night. The uh, NBA schedule comes out, and we'll talk Bomber as well. All right, bud. We'll see you. Thanks for calling right. in. Well, Jen, we're coming to the end of our hour. Do we lose you now? Do you got to go hang out with famous people? What are no. you going to do? Do you want to hang out for another hour and talk I can more hang sports? Out. I can hang out a little while longer. We love to hang out for as long as you can. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Then we're going to play how many athletes do you have in your phone? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a fun game. We're going to play how many athletes do you have in the phone? We're back with Jen Sturger. We love her. We're so excited. She's a very funny comic. Oh, Check man. her out at jensturger.org. And org. I'm only throwing it out there. Sure. No, dot, dot com. Okay, we'll be right back. We're going to take a quick break. We'll, break. we'll see you guys on the other side. Kobe Bryant fucks trannies. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Such a sad night out yesterday. Let's oh. see if this guy calls in. We're supposed to have uh, Bet DSI, Brett, calling in. Uh, I don't know where he is, why he hasn't called in yet, but we'll get into that. Have you uh, seen any of these videos of these, like, prank guys, the videos are going around where they're, like, literally getting the shit kicked out of them by black people. Well, but I was going on and doing some shit. Were you really? Yeah, I go, I One of those guys is going to die. I talk about like how great black YouTube is. Mm-hmm. World Star Hip Hop. World Star Hip Hop. Yeah. It's like it's so much better. I want a girl version of that. <laughs> a girl version of black YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Like Hey Sister. Yeah, exactly. You have one. It's called the E Channel. Oh. Total Divas. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Were you what were you saying about it on stage? Is like a new bit you're doing, or you just were re- improv on it? No, it's a new. It's like the end of my getting heckled in the Arizona joke about how like these two chicks fought at my thing, and then one girl drops the other girl, and everyone gets quiet, and they're like, suddenly you hear, "World Star Hip Hop," and uh, sometimes the crowd goes crazy, and sometimes they just like, "What is that?" What and is that? Yeah, and then you have to explain it. Oh. Black YouTube to mm-hmm. them, and how like it's so much better than white YouTube. Like, yeah. you, you know, it's just like grandma's teaching babies how to twerk. Yeah, I didn't know cats playing pianos on that shit. No. Two fat ki- guys fighting over cheeseburgers. Yep. And oh idiots doing pranks on black people, which are the worst people. Like, gangbangers? Are, are those the guys you want to fuck with? It's like when they walk up and take their phone and they just, I just want to see what time it is. It's time for you to get your teeth chipped. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's time for you to get jumped by three fucking dudes in Harlem. And, like, the cops have begged them to not do it. And they're, like, built like us. These aren't, like, it's not like Tate Fletcher. Or somebody doing that, you know what I mean? It's like guys that are like, do you see the woman that like, I don't know if they have like some little thing and they make like this fart noise, so it looks like they're like, like literally it looks like they're farting on their head. Oh yeah, and you're like you're a dead man. Thanks. Yeah, you're a yeah. dead man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, that's see. Here's the thing: those are guys who haven't been beat up before. Right. You only do that if you don't know pain. Right? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no, if you I know, know pain, you don't fuck with people who inflict pain. That's why I take Muay Thai. I'm like, I want to know what it Where feels like. Where do you like. take that, by the way? Uh, right up here at At One Fitness. It's How much awesome. does that cost? Oh, I take like I took private lessons for a while because I wanted to get good fast, you know. Um, so it just depends on like. Do you want to fight Ronda Rousey? No, but I I wanted. What about the fat man? I'd be like to watch see you those fight guys the fat fight. Man. I could take him. I would. You would be allowed to bring a weapon. I oh, give you really? one weapon versus fat. But man. I mean, I but I hadn't done it in like a year and a half. So when I went back like a week ago, 
I mean, I'm st- I still have bruises. <gasps> like, all Look over. how cute your tiny hands are. Shut up. Look at her tiny Let's hands. Put them up so everyone can see your awesome tiny. Look at those little are. munchkin hands. Oh, I'd look so big in those hands. I just, that's every time you think of little hands, you think, <laughs> like, uh, oh my God, they don't, they don't look that big. Oh, I think a little glove. Those I are think tiny a little glove. What, what do you think of? Yeah, I, think I of judge them violin. based on like boob size. Like, how, how big are they compared to boobs? You know what Okay. I mean? Speaking of uh, big. I don't know. That was a bad transition. <laughs> please welcome to the stage. Uh, please welcome to the stage. Please welcome to the show. Uh, our good friend from BetDSI.com, BetDSI EU. For all your betting needs, go there. Use Punch Drunk Sports promo code ten dollars betting cash. Please welcome the headlines manager at BetDSI. Our good f- friend Brent. Everybody. How's everything going, Sam? Brent, welcome to the show. You are on with our good friend Jen Sturger. She's the uh, a famous female sports personality. You might know her as the Tata chick from the Fort, the Florida State games. A pleasure to speak with you. Pleasure to speak with you as well. Uh, we're also wondering before we get into all the uh, betting action. Can you guys run some lines on how many famous athletes Jen has in her phone? Oh, <laughs> as long as we're not going to touch on Tony Stewart, we'll negotiate that. No, that's perfect. I was that's... afraid you guys were going to go somewhere dark with him. No, we would never. We, we haven't even got into that. We got Daryl Wright calling I've, him. I've met him before a couple times, too. That's a fun story. Have you met Smoke? Yeah. He seems intense, doesn't he? Yeah, he's actually a lot of fun. But continue. He's a, I, <laughs> he is a lot of fun, I'm sure. Yeah, that's why it's a really it's a really sad story in general. But we'll, it, we'll it's get to totally it. tragic. But let's get back to the fun. What do you want to talk first? UFC, NBA, NFL? What do you want to get into? Well, I mean, isn't this the part where you asked me about Ronda, Ro- Ronda Rousey? Ronda Rousey? Now, do, <laughs> now have you heard this? Skip her today for the first time. Have you, <laughs> have you heard this? Have you heard that that Gina Carano might sign might with sign with uh, Bellator? Bellator? Yeah. yeah, Bellator. Oh, really? No, I hadn't heard that. Yeah, that's gonna that mess up day. some. That's gonna mess up some But things. I understand that to a point. If I'm Gina Carano, who I I used to have a show on Spike TV, I met her a long time ago. She's the nicest girl. I can understand that because what they want to do, they want to show Gina, they want to throw Gina Carano in with Ronda Rousey because it's gonna be a mega fight. But they don't want Gina Carano to win, and I'm no. not saying she can or cannot. They're doing the same thing with Gina Carano that they did with Rampage. They wanted to throw him right in with the Iceman so he would have that octagon shock and the Iceman could win because the Iceman was so big yeah. at the time of the UFC. Same thing with Ronda Rousey. So you think she might get like some reps in at Bellator and then maybe come over and do yeah, the, the Yeah, or Rousey a couple fight? fights. If yeah, that's I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah, that, get some reps in. Too. I mean, if they, if they were going to throw her right in, right in with Rousey, that may not be the best thing for her. So sure, it might be in her best interest to take a couple fights somewhere else, kind of get a couple wins under her belt, maybe drive up the interest and the price as well. Um, I, I've heard that I just checked, you know, looked around. I, I've heard rumors aren't true. Some of it is true. So I guess when it's official, it'll be official. But, you know, speculation at this point. But yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me from the moment we just told you the word that she might sign with Bellator, you checked around and you got some intel already? Like, what did oh, you? Yeah. What'd you go on this Facebook? Is, this and is you what I do. Facebook Messenger, your friends? How, how do you get the information so quickly? A quote here, one good source tell me that Gina Carano signing with Bellator, Bellator rumors are not true. To Whoa, be that's dun, fast. Dun, dun. When I read that when I read that yesterday, I was like, oh, there's some contract ploys. There's some negotiation. Oh, you're not going to give me as much as I want? Okay, let me make a call over here. Yeah. I think Gina <laughs> Carano has everything to lose if she goes right in to, with Ronda Rousey. I the whole point it. of her coming back to fighting is... Because she needs to build her name back up. I mean, when was the last time anyone went and saw a Gina Carano movie? Yeah. Well, wasn't she in... Fast and the Furious, and then she did that Steve <laughs> Stone... Wasn't she in... Let me Didn't think. she do G.I. Hey G. Joe? Haywire. Didn't she Steve... do G.I. Joe, too? Yeah, she did G.I. Joe, too. Did, it was by the good. way, you're the only person who saw G.I. <laughs> Joe, too. <laughs> not G.I. Joe, too. Because it was a number two. Six. Was it two... I know. I, no, when I say GI Joe, I meant two. I mean, As like well. also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I <laughs> two. <laughs> so let's just say she hasn't been doing a lot. So it really, she, she was, was in Fast and Furious Six, right? Which I is my so. guilty One of them, pleasure. Yeah. I can't yeah. stop watching Fast and Furious. It's everything I want in life. Are you Mexican? I, I'm Armenian. <laughs> We're close. Exactly. You can't stop watching them because they keep on making them. Yeah. I well, they're so great. It's like fast cars, hot chicks. I'm all in. Explosions. Minimal thinking. Yeah, exactly. 
And the, and a little minimal thinking. I think that was a shot there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, she knows Vin me. Di- and Vin she Diesel, knows exactly right. The Vin Diesel dialogue it doesn't exactly take, you know. I love that The Rock is looking like a giant muscle penis, by the way. His, his head looks like the tip of a dick, and he looks like a giant muscle penis. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, this Brent, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you guys get a lot of action on preseason? I was just wondering that the other day. Do yeah. people bet a lot on preseason games? Yeah, because there's games? degenerates. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, no, you're, you're correct. I mean, we get a lot of action, and it's we get sharp action. Sharp guys will pick their spots in, in the NFL exhibition. Other than that, you get just a lot of public guys who, I mean, the game's on TV. They watch it. And NFL is all, you know, it, game's on TV, people are going to bet it. That's, yeah. that's, that's the way it is with Cause NFL. Because you, you have to give yourself a reason. Or whatever. Yeah, because yeah, you have to give yourself a reason to, to oh, watch I mean, the game. Yeah. <laughs> How could you watch NFL exhibition if you didn't have money on it? I mean, sure. I would just have absolutely no interest at all. Are, but are the super degenerates very well at it? Are the super degenerates doing like prop bets on like what player is going to go out? Like, you know, like yeah, what player no, is going to get hurt? We don't throw that stuff in, but actually sharps do well because they, you know, you can dial into what the coaches are saying in terms of, you know, my starters are going to go one series, two series. You know, no. I want so and so to get 15 reps, whereas another team might say, I'm playing my guys one series and then they're all out. I don't right. care what happens in this game, stuff like that. So if you pay attention to stuff like that, you can kind of get an edge where a team where you think, you know, has no right winning a game if it was regular season, I mean, the favorite in an NFL exhibition. Who do you think Ronda Rousey likes in the NFL preseason game so far? This is the Ronda Rousey hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, any teams seeming interesting? Because I, I think I ask you this every every week, but it's like preseason's coming. Who's starting to look like they can make that magic run? That no, Every year there seems to be a team that comes out of nowhere, and that's the beauty of the NFL, that a team that could suck one year can just make the right draft picks, right, sign the right free agents, and suddenly now they're back in the mix. Anybody looking interesting? I mean, no one ever really overreacts to to NFL exhibition. Um, we do have lots of debate in terms of, of regular season wins with sharp guys going both ways. I mean, we t- I think we touched on Atlanta last time out where where guys are really split in terms of whether how they're going to do. We set the over under for the regular season wins at eight and a half, Ooh. and I've got a, a lot of that hurt you, Steve. That hurt you. Over. Uh, I, I yeah, would no, take the over a, on that. We got a ton of action both ways. And again, like I touched on the the fact that New Orleans is is in in the division is kind of like uh, you know dangerous for Atlanta because lot of sharps like New Orleans to win the whole thing this year, but sure. they're a team that that there's a lot of debate in terms of Atlanta. We've got a ton of action over. We got a ton of action under on that as well. So that's a, that's one team that's getting a lot of action just because people really haven't decided on them. I would say that the Giants like that as well, and uh, and the Colts as well are getting a lot of support both ways for their over and un- under regular season wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talk about teams that jumped out of you. I, mean, I think Kansas City would qualify last year, right? I mean, they certainly came out of nowhere mm-hmm. this year. I don't know. It, I mean, you look at the the AFC there, the East with uh, with the Jets, Buffalo, Miami. I, I you know New England in there as well. I mean, New England's always the team to beat, right? But if it's going to end, and Brady's not getting any younger, of course. The the running backs. I mean, they never have. A, I mean, who who's last time that had a real number one starting running back? I can't remember yeah. what it was. But sure. Brady's, but, you know, Brady they, did they the most three or four guys out there. Time. Brady, Brady did always the most does the nothing. most with nothing. Yeah. I mean, as great as Belichick is, he's I, I, I he's cost Brady so many. I think a, a <laughs> Super Bowl or two by yeah. not wanting to sign anybody. Be like, my system's more important than the players. Mm-hmm. Brady, Bra- look at Brady's team versus Peyton Manning's team. Yeah. Two totally different teams. I mean, they Manning has so many weapons. So many weapons. Yeah, that was what that was what I think made watching that Super Bowl and just him get dismantled. Um, so tough. So tough. It's because you're like you have so much. Like, what are you doing? And do, uh, <laughs> that first play where you why does he have to audible on the first play? Yeah. It's like everyone's got nerves. It's like is Peyton Manning gonna shit the bed again? <laughs> yeah. And then you change it up. It's like it, it's crazy. Let's get in the NBA real quick, Brent. The Cavs. Yeah. It looks like love is going to the Cavs. Does that change everything, or was LeBron already, LeBron and Cleveland already the team to beat? Yeah, no, it changes definitely the price in terms of what you're looking at for what you're going to get on them. Season wins, for example. Um, right now, we have the the lines are off to win the championship just because we want you know the the love thing to come down official. You also got the what is it the FIBA World Cup first time around, so we got stuff down for that. But yeah, I mean, I figure. Once the love signing is official, the Cavaliers are probably going to be the favorite to win now. Everything probably around like 325 or 350, meaning if you risk 
far as you make a profit of around 350 on that. But I mean, the Spurs. I mean, you, just, you know, everyone, no one ever respects the Spurs, but they just keep on winning the thing. Oh, and they basically got everybody back, and maybe maybe they got a little bit better, a little bit older. But I mean, talk about a, a coach who can run a system. That guy's that guy just walks on water. Uh, Oak City's right up there. The Bulls, the Bulls actually did really well in the off season. Clippers, of course, Rockets. So, um, yeah. I did mean, the Rockets do the well in the off season? I I think they didn't do anything. I think no, they, they, they didn't. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say they did great, but they still have a core that's that's probably good enough to keep them in the top five, top six in terms of looking at future betting. Um, I did see sharp, sharp action actually on uh, on the Mavericks. Actually, we got action on that when we had the lines open up. So they improved kind of the most. If you're asking me who improved the most, by far the Mavs. Mavs. I think. Yeah, no, they're a yeah, legit team. To uh, yeah, no, go on. Go ahead. Yeah, they look like a team who can compete with the Spurs or anyone, really. I mean, they, they, they did really well, I think, in, in terms of their offseason moves. Again, they got a, a good coach, a good system. They got uh, well, they got a big man, finally. I mean, Dirk Nowitzki just doesn't age. So they, they did real well, Ch- I think, yeah. Chandler Parsons, who's a yeah. more than yeah. decent uh, wing guy. I thought he was great coming out of Florida. I wanted the Clippers to grab him, and they didn't. I mean, like, I think he's legit. Is he LeBron James? No, but, you know, you only have two LeBron. You have LeBron and Kevin Durant. After that, you just need a guy who's serviceable. You can't have a great player at every position. It's just not possible. Yeah. No. If you look at the cap, uh, fire right now, you're probably you're going you're going Chandler, Nowitzki, Parsons, Harris, and Ellis. That's that's pretty good. Now, yeah. I mean, let's talk about Washington Wizards. Any action on them? Because I think they are completely underrated. The best thing to happen to the Wizards is John Wall getting shit on by everybody. That is the best thing you could ever ask for, is this dude getting disrespected everywhere he goes. He should have won MVP in the, in the, in the All-Star game last year. And then just getting cut by Team USA is insanity. That guy is so good. I mean... It's like a weird blessing he had. He got hurt really early in his in his career, so he had to sit, which I think is a great thing. Yeah. For your star to have to sit for a year and just watch it's the game. Of, yeah, it's a re- it's a red shirt kind of thing, you know. And um, I think it gives him like time to get mature and really study the game and watch it, the exactly, game exactly. Come out of college, Blake and, Griffin. Yeah. Uh, John Wall. I mm-hmm. bet you. I mean, you hear uh, Derek Rose saying, "I'm a different. I'm ten times smarter now." He's had two seasons to watch. So I think that, I mean, they are just, pro- and they can get anything from Otto George because last year they got nothing. Everybody says Anthony ba- Bennett was a bust. Otto George was a third pick, and he didn't play a lick last year. Yeah, no, I, I think you touched on a good thing with Wall in terms of he kind of, you know, you get slated, or, you know, you might be slated a little bit and, and come back with a little fire under his belly. Again, you look up the middle, they got the, the big center there, the the Gortat guy. I mean, he's real big. The Hilario. Polish hammer. Uh, Pierce, Pierce is there now, right? So you got some some better leadership there. So, yeah, no, they're... They did, they did pretty well, and again, I mean, they won, what, 40, 44, 45 games last year, so, I mean, they're right up there, and Miami's going to be weaker, so who who's going to win that division? Miami, Washington, Charlotte, Atlanta, Orlando? I totally agree with that. I can yeah. see that. Now, Indiana, how, like, can you bet that they don't win a game? Like, can oh, you, you got to feel bad for Indiana, no? Yeah, it's unbelievable. No? I don't feel bad for them. <laughs> that's a bad beat. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, man. That's, that's, that's a tough break, we'll call it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Really? You just owed your O. Um, yeah, no, that was bad, though. That was a real that bad That was really break. hard to watch. Right. Well, oh, no, I mean, I didn't want to watch it. I was I was clicking on to read the article, and they had, like, a gif running of, of the break. I'm like, uh, no, I was by myself, and I'm screaming in the room, no, you didn't want to see that. It was terrible. Now, let me ask you something. Do you think Indiana could be like the Spurs of like 96 where like they were awesome until David Robinson got hurt for a year and then they got the number one pick, which was Tim Duncan, and then they became this super Super awesome. Yeah, I see. I mean, how great would it be if they felt if they had a horrible year and they got like there's a couple nasty players coming in this next draft. I personally think this next draft could be as good as this draft coming in, if not better. Some legit back to the basket, old style power forwards I mean, and some great ex- point guards. That's what happened with the with the Colts, how they got luck. Yeah. And Manning mm-hmm. went down and they they got to clear the books. Yeah. And and they got a younger version of him for pennies on the dollar. Yep. Yeah. And you could get that could be in a, this could be a, a blessing in disguise. Yeah, they'll have to compete with with Philadelphia. Though that's one team who who I read an interesting article about basically 
that have this business strategy of just tanking, tanking, tanking to build up number one picks. I mean, they're, I don't even think they're at the, like, the minimum in terms of salary cap yet. Yeah, it's, I, I don't like it, and they want to change it, so we'll see. Yeah. But listen, Brent, real quick before we go, uh, we still want to do something with you guys for the big uh, UFC 178 that's coming up, which is John Jones Cormier. So uh, yeah. I'll hit you guys up. Let's talk at the end of the week, and we'll try to get this ball rolling. Looking forward to it, Sam. All right. Always a pleasure to talk Thanks, to you, Brent. man. Call in next week. I'll talk to you guys during the week. But give it up for Brent, everybody, from Bet DSI. EU. <laughs> Bye, bud. Uh, so, yeah, did you learn something? I actually know a lot about sports betting. I so know. Yeah. You, oh, you do. You yeah. bet a lot. I don't bet a lot. I I understand it though. What are your What are your sports you like the kind of bets follow? Um, mainly football. Do you mainly are you into the, the UFC one. at all? Oh, absolutely. I'm into the UFC. Um, but that's why I fa- I find the whole Ronda Rousey thing so amusing. Is I feel like they're either setting her up for the biggest fall ever when someone finally does beat her, and I really kind of hope it's Corona. But I mean it. I think it's going to be The thing cyborg. is, like, everyone's saying that like, they're trying to protect yes. her. They're yeah. trying to protect her. Like, hey, we don't want her to lose. I'm like, yeah, they do. Because if she loses, everybody's talking about it. And they instantly have a rematch. And they make even more money. They don't want her to lose twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, hey, James, real quick. What's up? Because we got to go to Daryl Wright. He's going to talk NASCAR in two seconds. What's the word? What's going on, buddy? Nada. Man, I got to say, dude. Jen is coming in in a pony in her sweats looking gorgeous. It's amazing. Hey, Did you dude, call in just right. to hit on our guest? Yeah, right. Don't get creepy not, with our not guest. Only, not only going to say that, but she's smart, down to earth, and trains Muay Thai. Whoever <laughs> dated her. Get out of here. Hang dude. up on him. What's he doing? No, I, he I, doing? I'm like, I'm single. Bring him back. <laughs> oh, you don't want any of any, him. He's any not black. James. You won't like him. Oh. You don't want any of James. It has nothing to do with it. I'm equal opportunity. Okay. Who, who's a better boyfriend? White guys, black guys, or Latinos? Um. That's a great question. That's I don't know. I, I feel it. like it really depends on the individual. It really does. And, like, how their upbringing was. Let me ask you Like, something. is it a black guy whose, like, mom raised him and just his mom? Or, like, is it, like. You mean a black guy? <laughs> Why did Roy hang up? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do understand that. So it, I think it all, it, it more... What's more important to you, a winning personality or a monster dick? Winning personality. Like, okay, a monster Damn. dick. Because you don't need a monster to get the job done well. It's more how they use it, you know what I mean? Yeah, who works harder, big dick dudes or little dick dudes? Who, like, just brings the game the hardest? I think smaller guys are more enthusiastic. Who eats more ass? Big I don't dick allow dudes. that to happen. Well, hold so. on. Let's Show's say we're over, dating. Everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Let's say we has to leave now. <laughs> Let's say we're dating, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. What world is this? We're are dating. We in the Matrix. We're dating, and we're in love. And I do everything that you want. I am attentive. I send flowers to your mother. Think I'm being propositioned. Okay. But I want to eat that bunghole. You're not gonna let me eat that bunghole. No. You Why? should probably date. I'll let you, you should... Sam. You should probably date a dude. If that's the case, you should probably date dudes. Why? Eating assholes a a gay thing? I yeah no. Have you ever had a guy try to eat your asshole? No, I mean probably. Okay, so you don't know what it is. I just I no. So you never had the Avatar. I've. What is that? That's where you eat your ass and finger blast, like in the movie Avatar, where they sync up like flying beasts. No. Now you know. And knowing's half the battle. Is Daryl gonna call? Did he call back? Daryl, are you there? Daryl, what's up? What's up? Player, player, please welcome from, the, uh, is it NBC? NBC Sports, the right <laughs> turn, one of the funniest guys on the planet. He once shot a crackhead. My good friend, Daryl Wright. Hey! What's up, brother? How you doing, guys? What's up, brother? What's up, player, player? What's up? Why does it take a tragedy to get me on Punch Drunk Sports, man? <laughs> I mean, no. Uh, so- you know like how we feel about thinking, black maybe people. If had, maybe if they had shot the president, I'd have been on here earlier. So I'm <laughs> like, is this what it takes? <sighs> After what, two two years now, bro? This is when I get to call him. No, okay, I agree with that. But Daryl, you don't you like sometimes you're not in town, right? Most of the time. Okay, so yeah. Okay, good point. I should have you call in more. We should do more NASCAR stuff. 
<laughs> you won that battle. That, but, you won that battle. But NASCAR is always good. So uh, you're on with Jen Sturger. I don't know. Do you know who Jen Sturger is? Jen Sturger. Yeah. Uh, She's the really I, hot chick from the Florida State games with the big super cans and a winning personality. They're not big mm. anymore. Why? Do you get them smaller? Yeah. You Why do you even do those puppies? Because I wanted to be taken seriously. I took you really seriously, like a heart attack. <laughs> like, I lost blood to my head. No, but you know what I mean. Like, when you look a certain way, it attracts a certain kind of guy, and I was just tired of that. What, guys who want to love you? Preach on, girl. That's no. the story of my life. You get it. You feel me. No, like, you get you get a lot of douchebags because, like, the nice guys and aren't... and I love you, and I want your tits to be bigger There's and eat your asshole. There's a lot of hypothetical questions going yeah. on here about a scenario that's involved. not going to happen. They're all eating your ass. I've noticed I know. that. Well... Well, my whole theory is this, sweetheart. Just because you, just because you're, uh, just because this douchebag's coming around, you don't have to keep them. You can always throw them back. So yeah, that might oh, be kind of trust me. Sweetheart. I'm in a catch and release program in yeah. that regard. Trust me. She only dates felons. That's what she's saying. <laughs> um, oh, really? Yeah, Daryl's like, like interesting. There. Where do I submit? Daryl, let's talk Get about on World yeah, Star. Up, Get on World Star Hip Hop. Daryl, do you have your own account on World Star Hip Hop? <laughs> about what? Do you have your own account on World Star Hip Hop? I've, I've never, to be honest, I've never even looked at World Star Hip Hop. You've never been on black YouTube? He's not black then. Nope. Really? Oh, Very he's not. black. He's a starter that's black. For people <laughs> who haven't, that's for people who haven't lived through it. She so says you're like, a beginner black like, kid. <laughs> you know what that so means? it's almost like going through the zoo. It's like if you know that you don't have to live there, it's really fun going on a going on a safari. Oh, I I've already lived through that. So it's like you know what? I've been in the in, in the jungle. I don't want to go back. You're so like I don't I, need to watch so game no film. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I don't need to watch game film. Me getting the crap yeah, kids out of like, me. Dog, I've already lived through most of that, so it's no need to take a trip down memory lane on mm. World Star Hip Hop. So to be honest. I've never even gone to the website. Daryl, one of my favorite is. conversations with gone. you is uh, us talking about all the trannies that hang out donut time. Uh, oh, and, my goodness. And your opinions on them? Oh, my goodness. There's some fine ones out there. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> my favorite part, you're <laughs> like, you're like uh, they have dicks. Good. I ain't gonna even lie. Like, they don't even have to be... <laughs> Some of them are just fine. It is what it is. You gotta, but that's why <laughs> but my I, question is, why, why do you I'm like them? Like, it's yeah, just like, contouring, like, dude. It's just contouring. It's but just why do really they always have to dance outside is, donut shops? All I, I don't know, man. All I, all I know is I'm rude now. Talking to any girl that's a girl, I'm rude. I, I like check the merchandise before I even keep talking. Like Maybe oh. you might find it a, a little bit forward, sweetheart, but I've been tricked. So oh, I'm really? But we even continue this conversation. Really? You, you got it tricked? Is is. No, donut. I don't, I don't know what it is about donut shops, man. Did I? Uh, I think I told you that story about me and my boy in uh, New York. But those wasn't trannies. Those were straight up homo thugs. And homo thugs? Yeah, uh, y'all know what a homo thug is? Well, I, I can guess. Right. It's exactly what they say. It's uh, homosexual. That's a thug. Jen's like, he's, googling he's, it right now. He's hardcore, but he just a, he, he's just a homosexual. And one of my boys, when I lived in New York, the guy uh, that I started comedy with, we lived in New York together, and we were actually outside of a donut place late at night because we wanted to get something to eat. And uh, we're ordering because we used to live in Harlem. We used to live 153rd and St. Nicholas in Harlem. Like, that's so deep in Harlem. Brothers don't even go there, basically. So it's, it's in Harlem. And you got this white boy that was up there, and uh, we walked in, and there was a group of dudes outside, and one of the guys walked in. I still remember he had an all-white feeler jumpsuit on, all-white. Was dude he was Armenian? Clean, and he had the feelers to go with it. And so my boy was ordering, and so this dude walked up behind him, and he was like, you know what, man? I like white boys. And the first thing that my uh, friend was like, he, he, he was like, you know what? It's about time. I've lived in this neighborhood, <laughs> and everybody's been treating me a certain way. It's so good to see somebody that's open-minded. And the whole time, this dude is looking at my friend. You ever seen the cartoon, like, uh, Bugs Bunny, 
when they've been starving for 30 years and then they oh, yeah. find a chicken or something. And oh, then yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they start slobbering and their tongue goes out. Well, that's how this dude was looking at my friend the whole time. And he's just flaming young. Somebody in the neighborhood like him. Yeah, it was it was awkward, bro. I'm like, he doesn't like you like that, Playboy. He likes you like uh, he's going to bend you over. Jen, is so, this the most tranny talk you've ever had in your life? Yeah. It Congratulations. Is. I'm really, you know what, I'm really you know learning a that? lot about another culture here right now. <laughs> another you know culture. This isn't even as much as out. I've talked about trannies today. Oh, Jesus. It sounds like it's something you're, you like talking about. Let's get into the NASCAR real quick. Okay. A uh, lot of people are talking intentional, not intentional. Daryl, what is your take? My take is this. First of all, if you think someone hit another human being with a car on purpose, you're an idiot. You've been watching too much World Star Hip Hop. Okay. It's, uh, first of all, before you even start to talk about this, I want to send my condolences to Kevin Ward Jr.'s family. They lost a 20-year-old young man in the in the process of this, and I and I and I think that that's getting lost in this coverage. No, I agree with that. A 20-year-old is dead. You know, irrega- it, it doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. There's a there's a 20-year-old young man that's dead. So I think a lot of people on the internet, people that are covering this story, need to take into consideration that. Um, someone's life was snuffed out at 20. Now, That's horrible. With that being said, it was just it was it was something that was very stupid on both parties. It's just dumb. It's just uh, a friend of mine said it perfectly. It it was two people playing chicken, one of which had a car and the other one didn't. Yep. That's what I saw. It's my opinion from the facts that I've gathered and from what I saw and from covering NASCAR. It was really, it was really stupid on both parties, and it's like you hate to say someone who lost their life did something stupid, but it was. And Tony Stewart did something stupid too, and it resulted in a, a death. Now, as as far as what I've seen and what I've gathered from the information that I've gathered, what happens is the guy gets out of the car first of all, and. Uh, he starts walking to confront Tony Stewart, who was still driving around the racetrack. And for those people that think that they were going 100, no, they were going like 25, 30 miles an hour because they were under caution. Yep. So what happens is this this kid, if you watch the video, which, which most people have, you can see the kid is already too close to cars because he walks out into traffic. He walked out yeah, into, he traffic. Right into traffic. You should never With leave your car. With the expectation that somebody was going to, going to get out of his way. Now, this is what I have to say about what I saw. I, 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 I'm not a mind reader. I'm not in Tony Stewart's mind. But what I can say is this. Tony Stewart did not intentionally hit that young man. But on the flip side, he, did, he, he didn't try to miss him either. Because your expectation is, if I'm in a car, nobody's dumb enough to jump in front of me. You know what I mean? So... I so I think as far as in this society, everybody wants to just blame one person. No, both of those guys did something really stupid, and it resulted in a um, in a uh, death. Now, the theory that I went over with you and Teeb last night is something that I gathered from my NASCAR friends and people that know NASCAR. Uh-huh. Um, now this and like I said, this isn't this isn't confirmed by any stretch of the imagination. This is the uh, conclusion I'm drawing. Uh, dirt track racers are able to throw mud on their competition and throw mud on people that they're upset about by doing a certain um, doing a certain thing where they hit the gas and therefore mud goes flying out. And I think that, and I really think that's what Tony Stewart was trying to well, do. Well, that would explain why everyone says they could hear him guy. accelerate. Yes, like people are saying that they heard him accelerate. It's not the acceleration that people think that happens in your car. Like if you're in your car and you accelerate and take off. No, these guys know how to handle that car. Whereas, though, they can do a little fishtail and throw mud on somebody as in saying, I'm pissed off, just like you are. That's why most, most, that's why most of the times at dirt tracks, you will, you, will, you, you will see a lot of fights in the pits because experienced dirt track racers know 
I'm not getting out of this car, not only because it's dangerous, I'm not having somebody that's in a car throw mud on me. So I'm waiting until this dude comes down to uh, to a uh, pit, and then we're going to talk about this. Yeah, you and Stewart I mean? has a dirt track behind his house. So, I mean, like, he's been doing right. dirt track racing before he was doing any other kind of racing. So you know he And you got to understand, and I, and I think people need to be a lot more empathetic with Tony Stewart because, yes, what he did and what he tried to do was stupid that, that, that kid was entirely too close to moving cars, which is stupid. But you got to understand in, in in Tony Stewart's mind what he has to be going through right now. Tony Stewart started on tracks like this. He loves tracks like that. Tony Stewart's been racing on these tracks since he was, God knows, 13, 14 years old. So I can't imagine what he feels like because in in his mind, if I was him, I'd be seeing my I'd be seeing myself in this twenty twenty year old, a guy that's on a dirt track racing to try to come up through the ranks, and he's dead now, and it's partially because my vehicle hit this young man. I get you, and I just can't imagine what Tony Stewart's going. Let me ask you something real quick, Daryl, and then we got a jam. Um, perception of Tony Stewart is it going to change? Is are people going to look at no. him a little different? No, because they've already looked at him that way. And I think, as I told you and you last night, I think the reason why speculation is going crazy about whether he did it on purpose or not is, is because of the perception people already had of Tony Stewart, which was he's a hothead and he's, he's this and that, which he is partially. But just because I'm a hothead does not mean that I'm out to kill someone yeah. or, or that I would have the capability to run a, run a young man over I agree, dude. I agree. Daryl, when are you going to be back in town? I am going to be back. I have no idea, to be totally honest. I'm I'm going uh, going to be in Seattle in September. I'm uh, doing doing the Ontario Improv with Jay Moore September 22nd through through the 24th. I don't have my calendar in front of me, but I, I know in September... I'm in Seattle, and I'm uh, back on the East Coast in uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, uh, Catch a Rising Stars on the East Coast, the end of September and October. I, I don't have the actual schedule. All right. But any, any, anybody that wants to check it out can go to uh, brightturnshow.com. That's my NASCAR show. It has all of my dates up and everything. Um, and you can check my schedule to come see me. Yes, I'm normally funnier than this, but y'all ask me some, Dude, some serious stuff. You, I You're thought this was though. a great call. I thought this was a no, great call. Listen, we got jammed, but I w- next Tuesday uh, Tuesday that you're in town, come be on our show. I sure will. And y'all take care. Thank you for having me. Jen, great to meet you. And uh, you can go to my website because I am a uh, felon. So if you're looking for felons, she that loves aren't black dick felons. But if, you're, but if, you're, you're, but if you're, you're looking for felons that aren't douchebags, doesn't yep. really matter. Either way, check out the website. Check it out. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, you're the best, man. Good seeing you last night. Thanks for calling in, bro. Um, I think got, he touched on a real good point, though. And what, that, is that, that you like felons? No. <laughs> no, the whole thing that with Tony Stewart is he's such a passionate driver. You know what I mean? And I think sometimes people confuse, like, his passion and kind of the way he goes about displaying it as, like, this malice, you know? And so I think that that's the only reason that they're calling into question whether or not he meant to do it or not. Well, and I would also say sometimes bad things happen in the heat of passion. Yeah. And that you would normally never, ever, ever want to go... Crazy and just circumstances, bad things happen. You know, I, I get what he's saying, too. And I do, now they're talking about the mudding thing. I bet she did try to f- throw mud on that guy. 1,000%. Because yeah. when you you watch the video, everybody else is going low. Tony goes high. You watch, he goes high. So if you're going to be like, he's not trying to hit that guy, the only other explanation is with the revving, and him going high is that he wanted to throw mud on that dude, and it just got out of hand, and he hit. But, man, when he hits that dude, and that dude lays there motionless, you're like, oh. you hear every, You hear the people screaming. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you saw, like, the, the, the less professional videos that people have posted on the Internet. Oh. It's heartbreaking to watch. Like, I, I can't watch footage where I know the person doesn't make it. Oh, you know I don't, I mean? I, I'm not really into that, like, hey, let's watch this person die thing. No, I can't do it. Just I can't. doesn't. Uh. I don't, some people love the watch. I'll block shit. people on Facebook for posting like, look at these people get executed oh, in fucking some shit. third world country. I'm like, no, man. Somebody posted a picture of these two Asian guys skinning this live cat. 
and I wanted to get in a plane and go murder people. Yeah. But it's like, why are you putting that on Facebook? Yeah. Well, a lot of times it's like to raise awareness, you know, or something like that. But still, I feel like I should have the opportunity to have a choice in whether or not I see it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. give me give me a disclaimer, what you're going to post is graphic and stuff like that before it just pops up in my timeline. Like, yeah. Uh, um, a really like well known because a lot of those are, you don't it's not, not like I have to click on it to watch it. There's just streaming it's, and playing. Yeah, that's so how I saw the uh, oh, yeah. oh look at this little girl and then she gets mugged down by a car. I'm like whoa why did I just but see why that? does somebody post that? I just get yeah. oh this girl does post it. Travis real quick what's up? I want to talk about Jen about something else real quick. You've been online what's up? Okay hey. are you singing in the rain? What just happened? Did you just hang up on him? Yep. Hey, man, fuck him. <laughs> Travis, uh, I didn't do that. Fat man did that. So remember when we're voting for fuck up of the year. That might fat have been caller of the year right there. Yeah, that might have been caller of the I year. I think so far. Especially I, for I didn't in top fantasy baseball. Oh, he we hung up? To, yeah. He, no, I think no. the call has dropped or something. Uh, no, you hung up on him. No, I did not. He was in the shower and his phone got wet. Dude, are you masturbating like, oh. during our show? Me? Yeah. yeah oh, him? No, to this? I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, you're so mean to me. Listen, uh... It's out of love. So let me tell you, Deadspin just did a story the other day about how CBS is going to do an all-female view-type show of female talking sports. Yeah, I know. Now, one, what do you think of that? And two, this author says that it's a stupid idea. That the only reason they're doing it is so the CBS can say, hey, we have women on television, uh, and they're putting on a channel nobody watches. I think this chick who wrote this article, one, doesn't like sports, doesn't see the value of that. I think in some point she is right in that CBS saying, look, we're putting given women shows. I think this girl thinks it's 1985 and women aren't on television. As a woman trying to get on TV and has done a lot of television, do you see any validity in what you're saying? I'm saying they can't give chicks enough television shows now. I actually went out for the show. Oh, really? So, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's the same show. I mean, I, I tested for a, a show very similar to that a while ago. And um, I think they're just looking for a different voice. You know what I mean? Like, women's opinions on sports are, are different than men's. Um, just like it is like with comedy, you know what I mean? Like the way I see something and the way you see something, yeah. we're both going to come at Women it Women tend to angle. see a horrible, like horrible shit. They like, females are artistic terrorists. They like the worst things. On, every, we could go nick for knack on what female, you don't have to represent all females, by okay. the way. I'm just going to tell you that. Women have ruined entertainment. a very weird, a very weird part of like female opinion because I see things like a dude would but with boobs. You yeah. know what I mean? It's and a fat a cock. Yeah. Tranny correspondent. Now listen. Exactly. If you go down and list the worst celebrities, right? The mm -hmm. the worst of the worst. I would tell you 95% of those are celebrities females like. The only ones that guys might like in my opinion Duck Dynasty. Even though that's not mine, but it is some redneck guys would watch. Yeah. But the rest of them are all female-driven, supported celebrities. Females and gays, yeah, one thousand percent. Like my number one list on that list would probably be Kim Kardashian. I don't, I don't understand the obsession. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it at I don't all. Get it. But yet, like I did a show at the Improv, and a girl, someone was talking about Kim Kardashian, and she's like, "I hate her," even though I bought her blouse. Exactly. I hate her. I'm like. I wish I had fans that hated me like you. Hated me and bought all my merch. She's like the ultimate WWE heel. You know what I mean? Like, we, we like her, but we hate her just as much. I don't know? know. I don't. I And I'm Armenian. I She's don't publishing hate. a book of selfies. Like, let that soak in. Pictures of her face in a book. 13-year-old girls are artistic terrorists. Thank you. Like, Jenna Marbles. Like, I have nothing against her. She's probably nice. But there, why is this girl famous? Yeah. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. There's the, she, dude. She puts out a picture on Instagram. It has like seventy thousand likes. Like it's a, a mind blowing number. Who is she? She's like a YouTube star, internet star that that does a lot of stuff about, um, well, at least the stuff that I've seen her, and it's all about like pretending to be hot. Like, but it's like kind of from an awkward perspective. Like, I don't understand the YouTube generation as much as I like. I get Twitter. Twitter's great. I mean, I feel like it's, um, I get a lot of news from Twitter. Like, yeah. I found out about uh, Osama bin Laden from The Rock 
on Twitter. Like that's how I. I found about yeah. Robin Williams from one of the guys who works on our show. What's exactly. Twitter? Oh dear God. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. But you know what I mean. Like Twitter, I feel like is Twitter. useful. But like, um, but like YouTube, I still really haven't. I don't know. Like it's a really weird thing. The people that get famous on YouTube. Because it's a lot, of, it's teenagers. Teenagers run Instagram. Teenagers run any kind of like a visual medium. Something where like, well, it's like you have to break it down into like, oh. They're all like 13 year old girls like that. Can't do it. I can't do Vine. And they walk around like they're real people. Like these yeah. celebrities walk around like they've achieved something. And yeah. it's like you're the equivalent of the monkeys back in the, the 60s where like, yeah, you had a following, but everybody kind of mocked it because it was just team pop crap. Yeah. And now it's like, but anyways, I want to get to back to the sports thing. What's your, I mean, like, do you think people want to see a, a show like that? Do you think women want to watch a show like that? Do you think women will turn that show on, flicking through the channels, going, oh, here's a, here's a show of women talking sports? It really depends about the voices they put on it and the kind of opinions that they bring. If it's How about a lot the of guy who does uh, uh, the Simpsons voices? If he go, he's on that. You who watches that show, Lesbians? Lesbians love the Simpsons? No. No, the sports the sports show. No, I think what it comes down to is, like, how smart are the women? I'm very interested to see the cast that they come up with on this and how diverse they are and how well-versed they are. Because I don't think... People want their numbers broken down. Like, I don't want my stats broken down by someone unless they've played the sport or unless they're a stats genius. Right. You know, like, um, and I feel like that's why a lot of times girls get relegated to, like, being sideline reporters is because we have not played professional football. You know what I mean? We have not played professional baseball. Well, so, like, us being correspondents on it only comes from, like, study and knowledge of it being around it. Like, it's not from firsthand experience, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's something that women are always going to be short If you in. do a comedy show and it's all guys, women in the crowd will go crazy. Like, why are there any girls on the show? Which they have a, a, it's a valid argument, you know? It's a valid argument. The, they, everybody wants the female What's hilarious, dollar. hilarious, though, is, like, they'll bitch that women are not on the show, but when a female comic comes out, it's like, oh, my God, bathroom break. Like, screw you. Like, you're you're contradicting what you're asking for by not paying attention to it and giving it respect. Well, I think that's about to change. I, I really do think that we're in a place right now where people are shoehorning chicken, chicks and stuff because they've been kept out for so long and yeah. they gotta get them in to sell so now you're seeing a lot of shoehorning boom getting these people in that maybe or maybe not might actually have earned a spot it's more like we gotta get a chicken there and i'm not taking oh, yeah. anything because there's some funny ass chicks out there yeah okay there's some funny ass chicks but there's a lot of shoehorning going on oh, but yeah. i think this next generation of girls who are coming up including you and that oh, are you. some really funny legit funny people because they're actually have seen Girls on television being funny. It's actually yeah. a, 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 a route they could take. For me, comedy was just always something that I wanted to do. And I feel like you can't see... I feel like comedy comes from experience. Like, if I'd have tried to write comedy when I was 23, people would have been like, what is she talking about? You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have enough experience. But, like, being older now and seeing some of the stuff that I've you seen... You are ancient. I have... No, but I've lived a lot of life. Yeah, a you know lot what I mean? Dick. Fuck you. <laughs> Not really. Like I said, I'm Yards. a better girl. I'm a Yards. better girl than what people think I am. No. Yeah. I wish you, we just imagine you doing dirty things. I'm sure you don't. I do know. It. You just want to make I'm eyeball usually... to eyeball sex, right? You just want love in you. Exactly. It's I want someone to care about my opinions and ask about my goals. La 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 la. La, 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 Please don't give up comedy. Oh, I'm never going to. Um, <laughs> but it's interesting. To, it's an interesting time, man. I think uh, they want the reason they need to have female reporters is for a couple of reasons. One, they can ask hard hitting questions to coaches, and the coaches aren't going to go crazy on them. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, that's not true because um, who was it? Crap, I forget who it was. Someone asked a question of Jameis Winston, and it was completely out of line. Like, it was like after. Either like the it was after the ACC championship game. She was, was like, like, so how about that rape case? Yeah. That you're, and it's like, what? They just won, and you're gonna bring this up and like blindside this kid. Right. I mean, granted, I'm sure he was media trained just and stuff. Rape and bitches. For it. Exactly. You know what I mean? But it was really, it was a really poor shot. Okay. You know. But it's like, 
You know, Popovich can't go crazy on a chick who's no. in her, it just like you can't do that. And women again want to see them. So the best way to get women into sports is being sidelines reporters. Yeah. It's women like to see, they're dying to get the. But female eventually, down. it's going to be like MLB's been doing lately, where they just put headsets on coaches and they just talk to them directly. The guys in the booth can do it. I mean, yeah. it's a dying profession. You know what I mean? Everything's dying. Everything. We're all just dying. Uh, you want to talk fantasy sports? Fantasy sports. Fancy sports. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm talking about the baseball league. Yeah? That, uh, You're on with Jen Sturger. Nothing... You want to talk to her? Uh, no, let's just talk to the men. We don't need women in sports. You okay. fool! Dude. Thank you, though. S a D. Yeah. <laughs> Suck a Quiet. dick. Men are talking. <laughs> what's up? Uh, no, I, uh, I just want to talk about that league that you guys never talk about. You guys are in. It okay, is, what, uh, about yeah. what about it? What about it? I'm in third place, and uh, congratulations. Hey, what about that DSI? What about that? What's that? Talk about that. <laughs> I put it on a Raiders bet. You know me. Oh I, yeah, I yeah, Raiders yeah. I, okay, Bowl. I like you. I almost did yeah, like you because like you, you treated my friend poorly. Our guest, the lovely yeah, Jen yeah. Sturger. I just wanted to get in on that free DSI bet, you know. So I put the pen down on the Raiders to win the Super Bowl. I like it. So I'm, look, I'm looking at two grand if they win, you know. Shit. Might as well. You're looking at losing ten fake dollars. Yeah, you, you just lost ten <laughs> free bucks. That, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, <sighs> and also, I wanted to say uh, I met some dude named Monkey Todd, and he like says you guys are awesome. And, uh, oh, Monkey really Todd. Weird. We love yeah, Monkey Todd. I met Todd. him in Vegas last week, or like a couple weeks ago. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, he was pretty nice. He just like bear hugged me. I don't even know him. He just bear hugged me. I have. Oh, because you, you probably met him at a gay bar. That's why. No, I had a desk squad shirt on. So. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, speaking of yeah. shirts, countdown. How are the shirts going, Jason Tebow? Uh, good. I, I, I'll i make an announcement about it soon. I got another another one that I'm doing. Okay, too. so we got many we got shirts are coming out. We got two. I'm going to buy them all. I'm going to buy them. I already got like three of them. So I'm oh. going to get that one that. Uh, why would I lie? That's a good yep, one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to make that. One. We're going to make that. You got to make the raping bitches one, though. And no, like no, we really don't. Really loud. No, no, no. no. Okay. Just raping bitches. No, we're not Can making like just raping it? bitches. Spell it like, like, like rapping bitches or something? Oh, rapping uh -huh. bitches. Like we're rappers banging bitches. We're rapping bitches. Yeah, it's kind of an inside joke type of job thing. Just okay. Who do you think is going to win uh, the fantasy league? Who do you think is going to win the fantasy league? Uh, eight one eight. Okay, there you go. You don't talk to our guests like I that. I think he was about to say eight one eight till he dies. Yeah. You don't <laughs> Jen, do you got why, anything to push? Why, why? You got anything you want to push? No. Just any dates? That. Like any you going dates? on any dates? Like Tinder dates coming out? No, I will not get on Tinder. I will not do that. You don't have to. Yeah. Why? Should I'm sure you're just getting dick thrown someone, at you all day. So someone said it perfect last. Can I? Time. Thank you. Touch your face. That yeah. was that creepy. I mean, a little bit. Do it again. <laughs> this is the least Sam's ever been on his phone during the podcast. Uh, By the way, he's one time I looked down at his text. I was looking. I'm like, doesn't why? Why does he have? He's either holding his dick or a phone it's on this phone. shirt, and I couldn't tell. <laughs> it's, so wait, is Ari? I want to know where Ari is. Is he still in the like doing shrooms somewhere? Yeah, he, that's where he was. Be dead. He was supposed to call in today, but he's he couldn't supposed to get be to on Skype airport. today. He's a crappy correspondent. Yeah, he's I, supposed to be here. We Skype in. I think he sold another show. Oh, nice. Uh, I heard about that. He's like, well, au revoir. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's on the way. Yeah. Nice. Uh, are you doing any gigs coming up? I'm at State Social House on, State, State Social House on Wednesday. All right. Uh, and then probably. That's a fun room. Yeah, it's a really fun room. I need room. to start doing those rooms more. I need to start doing them more because I don't do them as much as I used to. And I just think things are changing at the comedy store. So yeah, I, I wonder why. Well, I used to get like three to four spots a week, but I think it's good that I need to get out more. I've just done it there. I mean, I just well, no. I think there's a lot of change going are you on. Getting in the less spots now with the yeah new regime. Yeah, well, I think he for a while he's got a lot of mouths to feed. Yeah, he's yeah, got but a lot I've, of been a, to I've been I've been a happy. staple there. Yeah, I know. And yeah. nobody does what I do as well as I do at that time that I do. And it's just like I'm getting, li I'm not getting any spots and I'm tired oh, of yelling Oh, by the way, you. Friday, Belly Room Spot. Thank you. Yay. Yay. So uh, I what's love your the website? Belly Room's fun. My favorite um, My website's jensturger.com. Follow me on Twitter. It's at Jennifer Sturger. Instagram, sometimes I'm funny on there, but 
I'm just never gonna be the slutty girl that wins Instagram. You know Why what I mean? not? Um, hey, the kids weren't happy. You know how you can just try. Just try. Try, try harder. Butthole pictures. Everybody loves them. Jen, now uh, we're gonna try to do. You, do you like UFC? Yes. We might do a big UFC show, and Ari might not be able to make it, so we might let's need somebody do it. on there. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I can definitely talk fighting with you guys. We're going to maybe do Are some beds. Do we don't know, but we're talking. Tebow got to talk about it. We should do a whole show it. like this. Yeah, we're gonna do, we should do a whole show like this. Uh, we'll call it Three Blind Mice. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go. That was great. Uh, Jason Tebow, where are you going to be? I'll be at, just found out, I'll be at the Comedy Store this Friday, and I will also be, uh, in the belly room at 8, and then Don Barris' big show, uh, in the main room, and we're going to do, like, Sweet. a 30-minute version of the band, and it should be fun. Oh, I love it. I am going to be at, here's what's going on, I'm going to be Saturday night, I will be in Santa Barbara with Ryan Sickler and Brian Redband. We're going to be at Velvet Jones, and then next weekend... I realize I can't be here next week. I'm going to be at, at Bailey's, the L.A. Comedy Comp Club in Las Vegas. So I'll be there with Gareth Reynolds. So uh, if you if you ever if you make Vegas, don't go do a guest spot. Um, what I, weekend is that? What's that? What weekend is that? The that's 23rd? next. Next weekend, yeah. Whatever that is, uh, that's it. Uh, go to bedsdsi.com or .eu. Uh, punch Drunk Sports is the code. Get 10 free bucks. Go to Caveman Coffee. Punch Drunk uh, as the code saves you 10%. Always, uh, if you can, uh, go to the, to the website. Use the Amazon link. Buy whatever you got to buy. And consider it sucks. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys.